All right, welcome back to RPG Quest, and we are starting a new game today, which is Bringing Dean on the PlayStation. How's it going, Demonic Maniac? How's it going, Yo-Yo Discord and CarTube? Welcome, everyone. Welcome to a hopefully relaxing game after the uh, the the uh, conclusion of uh, Brave Vincent Masashi yesterday. Oi, the game was <laughs> the game was interesting. Uh, 4,001 hours, I know, right? We're like, over 4,000. We just need another 5,000 hours, and we'll have to make sure that uh, when when we hit, uh, you know, when we hit 9,000 hours, we'll have to play a uh, Dragon Ball Z game. That'll be the first game we play after we hit 9,000 hours. Uh, it's going to be fun. Welcome welcome to Nuts Demon. How's it going, Gold Dude? Yeah, so yeah, this one, from what I've seen in the manual... I don't know if anybody can confirm it all, but it looks like kind of a combination of of like Dark Wizard. That was what Saturn, I think Dark Wizard, or was it the Saturn or Sega CD? I, forget, I think it was Sega CD. Like Dark Wizard and kind of like Ogre Battle, almost like a weird combination of those games. So it's more of a strategy RPG than a tactical RPG, but definitely looks interesting. Anyways, Sega CD, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, it feels like it's that. Like you summon monsters and they can grow. The interesting kind of uh, comes with a nice little map and uh, unit upgrade list. But yeah, it definitely seems like something like that. I, I guess once I play it, I'll <laughs> I'll be aware of it more. There's also five characters for this. Uh, from what I hear, it's not super uh, super long game, so might as well try. I mean, it sounds like the the characters have their own unique stories, so might as well try. You know, if if I can beat one character in a relatively short amount of time, I might as well go and go for all five characters. Uh, there are there are um, kind of difficulty levels assigned to the characters in the manual. Like, you know, we got we got the King Kai here <laughs> talking about Dragon Ball Z. We got King Kai, uh, who's like one star out of three. We got Lance and Leoness, which are like two stars, and we got. Uh, Vaynerd and Drist for three stars. I guess we'll start with Kai and you know, if, if finish the game quick enough, might as well try uh, the other characters. Uh, before I start, I forgot to one second. I forgot to make a memory card. One second. Let's make a memory card. Now oh, the joys of PS3. <laughs> Brigandine. Oops. Freaking deep. Man, imagine how many memory cards I'd be using if I actually had this on PlayStation at this point. There we go. Now right, let's do this. So they want a Saturn version of Dark Wizard? Yeah. Yeah, Dark Wizard was actually quite fun. I enjoyed that one. It was, it was quite interesting. 40 to 50 hours? Okay, yeah. So 40 to 50 hours with all characters, I'm, I'm, I'm down with that. Somebody else had mentioned something like that, around like, uh, you know, like 7 to 10 hours per character. So, hey, it's the 7 for 10, to 10 hours per character, I might as well play all 5. If it was something like 50 hours per character, then no. <laughs> no in hell. There's a 2000... Yeah, uh, from my understanding, there's like a grand edition, but it's not didn't come out in North America, or did it come out on another system that like was it what a PSP game or something? Forenza. It's a world far away in a different universe, a mystical area where the soldiers of Forenza are guided by the mysterious powers of the ruins. In this, they bind their lives in war for honor and for love. Great ruins. PSP? Oh, fan translation. Yeah, if it's fan translation, it means it wasn't released officially in English, so I wouldn't be playing it. <laughs> Looks like 3DO style graphics. Those 3D models. Let's 
get a Dargon. Dargon versus Golem. Who's gonna win? Oh yeah, but if I did fan translations, there would also add like a bajillion games to my list, so it's just not feasible to do fan translations. Maybe later on I'll add some, but for now, for now I'm trying to cut through the list of actual, you know, English releases first. Sorry, my man. Brinkandine, a legend for for Senna, for Senna, for Senna. Published by Atlas. Huge option for sound. All right, so 1998, Hardy Robin Company. Never heard of them. Probably the only game they've ever done. So let's set the timer. My timer's in sync. It's there. All right. Just went bootleg fire on them. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. All right, so yeah, so we got these... Uh, Characters here. So this one here is King Kai. So again, so yeah, each one starts with a new, with their own thing. I guess the reason his is least difficult is that he's not surrounded on multiple sides. He's only got like one, you know, one territory that's actually against the enemy. So that's probably why they, uh, that's why they give him like one star difficulty. I think that might be the best one to start off with. Get used to the game and then. Got the big hat. <laughs> Drizzt? I guess his name Drizzt. Let's see here. Drizzt, yeah. It's a 28 year old tyrant. <laughs> this is uh, Leoness. She's 17 year old queen. This one here is Vaynerd. He's a 21-year-old lord. We've got Lance, who's a 14-year-old prince. 14-year-old, jeez. And of course, King Kai. Not to be confused with, you know, King Kai. So it's 25-year-old warlock. King Carly on a small country in the southeast, which is also known as the Magic Kingdom. He is so gentle that he may give you the impression he is a weak king. However, he has profound wisdom and passion in his heart. He is sometimes called the silent wise king, as he analyzes the situation and the continent carefully under his calm smile. His tomboy sister, Marriott, and a bad-mouthed knight master, Dinadan, keep him company in the cheerful atmosphere of the palace. His magic is the most powerful of all lords, as the number of magic he can use in his MP and a point exceed all others. However, he's not very good at hand-to-hand -hand combat. Kai's level up is rather slow. So it looks like he's going to be a good magician, but you don't want to get him in a normal battle. But the slow leveling up kind of sucks. But eh. they wanted to start off with, I guess, just to uh, get used to the to the game. Hey, giant beard entity, it's going good. Yep. <laughs> Wizards, and so they give him a difficulty of one star in the, in the manual, so it seems like a good one to start off with anyway, since, you know, I'm probably going to be playing all five characters, so. King of uh, Carleon, a small country surrounded by the sea. This land contains mysterious powers. Oh, get a close-up of them. He's got eight knights, six domain, whatever that means. I guess he's got six territories already. 23 monsters and 797 mana. Sure. I'll play on a normal. I usually pick normal if they give us a difficulty option. This totally looks like uh, <laughs> ogre battle. Or Senna, land of mysterious rune power. It is a sacred king calendar, year 214. Alchemechia, most powerful country located in the center of Frenzia, has finally won the war against the country of Norgod. I believe that Almechia was about to return peace to the continent. However, dun dun dun. <laughs> Hopefully, none sacrificial toast. They better be gambling.
Zemeckis. <laughs> I guess he's the guy in the center. What is it, Kador? Your Majesty. <laughs> and that dude looks imposing. See, like a four eyed skull thing. A year ago, you led us to the victory over the King of Norgard, who was the worst enemy of Almechia. Also, you consolidated our victory by taking away part of their territory from the king's successor, Vaynard. Peace of this continent and prosperity of our kingdom are all due to your achievements as commander of the Almechian army. Get to the point. I know you didn't come here to tell me that. You were right. I'm here to tell you that the King Inquist has a warrant for your arrest. It seems that those who are jealous of your achievements have given him this idea. You're being charged with treachery. That's ridiculous. I've done nothing but devote myself to the victory and prosperity of this kingdom. How dare they question my loyalty? You must die for this. I've done all the preparation, and all I need now is your order. What? You're telling me to really become a traitor? Yeah. Well, this guy, this guy is the evil side. There is no way, no other way. It's time you killed the king and became the new leader. Ha ha ha. Your Majesty. Well, it wouldn't be so bad to become king after all. Why wait in vain for others to destroy me? I shall fight, since that is the way I live. All I want is power, and I will not tolerate anyone who gets in my way. Kador, summon the entire army. It's time those pigs in the palace realize how much power I have. Yes, sir. The only concern is that once I stand up and fight for my throne, it will not only cause disorder in Almechia, but chaos will spread throughout the continent. You still wish for me to do this, Kador? You must make sacrifices in order for a king to reign successfully. I'm certain you can rule not only Almechia, but also the entire continent. Yeah, and alright. I understand. I'm not determined to fight until I become king, regardless of the disorder it may cause. The entire continent may be burned in this process. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pretty much, right? Sacred King Calendar, month 2, year 215. A coup d'etat was pulled by Commander of the Troops, Mechus. King Henquist was defeated and the castle was occupied by the commander's army. The long history of the Lamechia Kingdom was put to an end, and Escarga's empire was born. Escarga's empire? Burn, baby, burn! It's the beginning of a new era of disorder and chaos. Soldiers are led to the battlefield where, they, where their fate awaits. Kidor looks badass. He's gonna be the final boss, guaranteed. 15, 3? I guess that's like year and month. Carlian, Castle Linus, 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 Linus. Hey Kai, wake up! Wake up, Kai! Wake up! What is it, Marriott? It's still early. Kai, Mums used to say that the king should be the role model for the people. What's wrong with her eye? <laughs> You're the last one to get up in this castle. You're the king! It was not my choice to become king. There you go again. Now, it's not the time to be joking. You know what has happened? So, I mean, like, this, this game definitely looks like a mix of Orga Battle and, like, Dark uh, dark Wizard. Just the combination of, like, the, the mechanics and the, the art style. Something happened in Lethia? Yes, but how did you know that it was in Almechia? You just heard the news a little while ago. I'll tell you about that later. Anyway, go get everyone. I need to talk to them. Feeding room. <laughs> He's got a hell of a hat there. So, you are expecting this to happen? Yes. Almechia owes a lot to Zemeckis for its success. As the saying goes, the hunting dog with nothing left to hunt will hunt its master. With no enemies left, Almechia only had one fear, Zemeckis himself. It was only a matter of time before the king and Zemeckis got into a situation like this. Hey, Lux. Thank you. <laughs> Sounds like it's going to be a nice little uh, stress relief after <laughs> Great Fencer Musashi. You're not called the quite wise king of Carlion for nothing. I wonder how he manages to maintain that good reputation. It seems to me he's always sleeping. Should we call the Sleeping King of Harleon? Give me a break, Marriott. 
What should we do next, Your Majesty? I'm sure Zemeckis will try to expand his empire. He won't be satisfied with just Almechia. He received his status and fame for through fighting. He'll try to prove that he is the king by fighting. Path to total domination. Yep, the quiet wise. <laughs> I guess he's quiet and wise or something, I don't know. Hey, Zanfal. Yeah, I knew the name sounded kind of familiar, Sunfall. <laughs> Zemeckis. <laughs> it's like, I heard that name somewhere before, but I guess that's where, that's where I heard it. Exactly. Meantime, I heard that Prince Lance of Almechia made it through and was taken by Padstow. Padstow? 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 Padstow will fight for the restoration of Almechia. King Cole of Padstow is loyal to the Almechian royal family. Vaynard, who will become king of Norgard, will not miss this opportunity. He's been waiting for the right time to strike back, and this is the perfect chance for him. <laughs> so the war is going to involve the entire continent, one way or another. That's what I'm saying. Really? Is Carleon going to be alright? Of course it's going to be alright. You have great soldiers like Din Dinadan. The Night Master, my brother. Well, as a knight, I, how can I betray the expectations of a beautiful princess? Just call me a beautiful princess. I'm delighted. <laughs> okay, Marriott. As you all know, we border both the Escargas. Or Escaras? You can call it Escargas, like Escargo. Escaras Empire, led by Zemeckis and Iscalio, led by King Drist. Yeah, Merit seems to have something in her eye. You'll be eager to invade our country, and we should be prepared. Your Majesty, we all agree with you. Let's all prepare for war. I'm afraid the war will go on until someone brings a new order to this continent. We must do our best to be that someone. Zemeckis may be a strong fighter, but he lacks some strategy. It seems that there is someone else behind the rebellion. Someone wants to bring chaos to the continent. As you all know why you're saying it. Exposition, that's why. Alright, we're just thrown right in there. Like, Alright, figure it out now. Took a quick skim through the manual, but... Alright, so we got Baden Hill. We got no, mon no Knights, No Monsters. Squest. <laughs> and one Knight, three Monsters here. Status, organized, move, wait. Quest. Quest. I like Hydra and Herman. Seems to be a really good water based uh, group here. Three knights. Salisbury. Let's go get some steak. I'm already lost. It's like, just throw you right in there. It's like, alright. <laughs> I guess if they're way if the flag is waving there's somebody in the castle. If there's no flag waving, there's nobody there. Probably a good idea to get like these guys, you know, protecting our border. I don't know if they're moving there, but uh. Unicorns. <laughs> I don't know what this even does. Alright, let's... <laughs> I think it's time to read the manual a little bit here. <laughs> I'm just already lost. Game just, like, throws you in. It's like, alright, do stuff. It's like, what? What am I supposed to do? <laughs> Oh, it's like strategy RPG. It's more strategy than tactical. I think the combat is kind of tactical, but... And... Up the strategy map. After opening the event of the country you selected, you'll come to the strategy map shown as below. Display, collect information. Organize phase mix. Changes your party using summon, organize, order class, command, designate, designation, move, move command, blah blah blah. 
Bring changes to the execute command. Hmm. Well, let's do stuff and see what happens. Hey, Dougley. Thanks for the raid. Welcome, everyone. How's it going, Dougley? Playing some more awesome Saturn games today, I'm assuming. Yeah, this game, like, this game, the style definitely reminds me, like, this style right here definitely reminds me of uh, Ogre Battle. And then the, um, the concept of, like, summoning monsters and stuff sounds like a uh, dark wizard. Both of which were all, were, were quite fun. But, <laughs> I'm not sure what's even going on here. There's, like, so much stuff. Got a dragon, got a high centaur, got a lizard man. So there's like a elemental system. So this dragon here, for example, is like one red, like level one red. This is like level one blue. So red strong against blue, blue strong against red. So this will do extra damage to blue. This will this guy will do extra damage to red. Probably seems like he's good against everything. <laughs> a Yu-Gi-Oh themed ogre battle. Ugh. Gonna suck. So I'm assuming King Kai is going to be strong against both blue and red, but he's also going to take less damage from them. Unicorn is white. White counter is bl uh, black. I guess we can move. Yeah, can move. It's order just lets you like shuffle around uh, characters. Class. Okay, so we can change classes here. So we know she's a scout. I realize she can change classes, but... Let's see here. So there's like a, obviously like a level up system for, for classes, like once you get level 10. Remember seeing in the manual? You can switch to uh, like a higher tier of your class. Nice little chart in, that comes with the game here. So it looks like she can she can choose any of these three classes to start off with. The scout can eventually become a Lancer or an Archer, and the Archer will eventually become an Artemis, or Lancer can become a Valkyrie. Enchantress, of course, is like a magic type. This one has more attack, obviously, because you know, a melee character. Cleric can be useful, but we'll keep her as a scout for now, because before we, we... Get a critical attack, short bow. I don't know what yellow means, but figure that out once we actually do battle. And it's, it's going to be just trying to figure out what the hell all this stuff is. Starts off as a paladin. So he's already a tier three uh, fighter here, so we're not going to change that. So I'm, I don't know what happens if you can ch if you change classes. Like let's say I switch to ranger, do I lose my you know my paladin status, or can I switch back to paladin? Let's keep him a paladin for now. Actions you got you got Justice Cutter, Knight Sword, also got Heal, Cure, and Holy Word. Holy Word destroys enemies. I like the sound of that. 183 MP though, ouch. How much MP does he have? It's like all his MP. Boward is a bishop. Something like that. It's got an area heal. Not sure what the A thing means, but or the area of effect, I'm guessing. Yeah, that's probably what it means. A is probably area. Is experienced by half in one hit. Raises experience by half in one hit. So I guess like, it gives you like a 50% extra experience by when you, when you hit something. I don't know. Sacred so rare destroys enemies. Equipment as well. Nothing. <laughs> I don't think we have any equipment to equip. Just got an elven bow.
items, and magic potions. Yeah, I, I think the, well, it's probably gonna be relatively easy, but it's just trying to figure out, like, everything, first of all. They kind of throw you in there, I mean, there's no tutorial mission or anything like that. I mean, most of these games so far had some sort of tutorial mission, they didn't just throw you into the world and, like, alright, figure things out. It's like, what? So it's definitely a, uh, not exactly the best kind of start you can get in one of these kind of games. Action, word of magic. That means. Pack with book. <laughs> Man, he's got a lot of spells. Which makes sense, he's a wizard. <laughs> yeah. Move, wait. I don't know what Quest does. Let's see what Quest does. Maybe, maybe like, searches for, for items or something like that, or experience. Uh, summon status. Organize, organize, move, attack. Wait, organize. <laughs> Music just stops and restarts. Quest, organized phase. You can send a rune knight on a journey. The rune knight may bring back an item or a strong supporter if you're lucky. Okay, so it just has a chance to give you an item or or something, a monster, I guess. And obviously, you can't you can't attack when, while you're on a quest. That makes sense. <clears throat> Summon. I'm assuming summons like a monster. That's it. It's like it's kind of impede imposing when you're going to like a tactical RPG with absolutely no tutorial whatsoever. You're just like thrown in, like all right, what am I supposed to do? Summon a dragon. It's not summon anything right now. Send him. Him over here. Send Boart like over here. Kai in his castle. Alright, well. Execute. Location. Shows you where the characters are. Domain. There you go. So we're the green dudes. <clears throat> Alright, the music just like, just restarting is, is really, it doesn't even like loop properly, it just stops and it starts again. Obviously a CD track and not like a in-game song. It's super annoying. Yeah, so far it's definitely it's not not a great start when they just throw you in the game. Here's a little bit of story and then figure it out. <laughs> it's like what? Cursor speed, cursor acceleration, battle scene, summon class, etc. Auto cursor, swift units. Warp indicate, experience indicate, computer indicate, computer versus computer, I don't know. What does initialize do? Do I want to hit this? Risk case, okay, probably just resets the settings. Yeah, just resets the settings. Alright, well, let's try executing and see what happens. Attack! What? I'm not attacking anybody. Alright, so it's just stuff that just happens automatically. Wait, did my guys move? <laughs> Alright, so this guy's here. I 
guess, uh, what's her name is on a quest right now. That's why she's not showing up. So did he successfully move, or...? <laughs> I guess he's still in progress of moving. He's on his way, but he's not there yet or something. I don't know. I am so lost. Send him out to attack. I don't know. It's three knights there. Four knights there. It doesn't seem like places I want to attack. him to move to. Oh, I guess this is the attack phase. That's what this says right now. Hey, Kiesel. Marriott's quest. Marriott was walking through a foggy forest. As Marriott looked around, there was a strange flower spreading on the, onto the ground. Passing with the flower, Marriott reached out for it. A mysterious aroma then filled the air. All of a sudden, Marriott became drowsy. Marriott fell asleep. <laughs> Marriott woke up, the flower was gone. Furthermore, Marriott was robbed. <laughs> what? Left for home, not knowing which way to turn. Well, that was a successful uh, quest. I am back! Did she lose her bow? Call me your majesty. Yes, Boart. I'm thinking about going to New Melchia. Would you and Dinadin? I would like you and Dinadin to stay here and take care of things. New Omekia, are you going to confirm the alliance? Yes, I am. Look after things here while I'm gone. So I guess we gotta walk our way, work, our, work our way over there. It's good to see you again, Sprint Lance. Oh, I just went there automatically. It's been a long time. It's very nice to meet you, Prince Lance. I'm King Kai's sister, Marriott. It's nice to see you again, King Kai. It's nice to meet you, Prince Marriott. Prince Lance, you know very well that Carlion. He's always been loyal to Amikia. That was not changed, even in this time of war. We are here just to let you know that. Thank you so much, Wise King. I'm so glad to hear that. Of course, this war was ignited by Ascaria's. But the movement has spread throughout the land. Ascaria's is the main threat for the time being. It's a matter of time for Norgard from the north. Iskalio from the southwest would begin their invasion. You should be aware of what they would do. Norgard, that's right. Scars is not the only enemy we have. Thanks for your advice. We'll keep that in mind. Prince Lance, it was really nice to see you again. You too. Thank you for coming to see me. I'll fight the Empire in my own way. Wish you good luck. Prince Lance, please come visit Carthian when the war is over. You have great seafood and delicious fruits. Thank you. I look forward to it. We better get going again. Good luck. Prince Lance, promise me you'll take care of yourself. Hooray! I think. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Organize. Alright, so since we're allied, we don't have to worry about these guys. Let's move everybody to this place right now. But did she lose her stuff? <laughs> yeah, she had a bow. Did she lose her bow? Uh, how do I check her equipment? I even get like whole things. Younger sister of King Kai of Carlion. She has a tomboy who runs around the castle and brightens the atmosphere. She acts like an ordinary young girl who's not snobbish and is liked by everyone. Jin. Unicorn pixies. <laughs> Their equipment again. There it is. Well, she sells her elven bow, so I don't know what she was robbed of, but <laughs> all it knows it was not successful. Let's move everybody here. 
think Prince Lance is just gonna uh, stab us in the back. I'm calling it now. Don't know what I'm doing, so let's just <laughs> make things happen. I'm not gonna be attacking anything just yet. Our guard has invaded Damas. Wind retreat. I'm not sure what WND is, but. Alright, yo yo. Have a great night. Wounded? Okay, that makes sense. Alright, so we got six knights now. Aha. We're gonna defeat them all. Let's move this guy here just in case. Alright, so <laughs> no idea what I'm doing, but let's try attacking. No, the Romance of Three Kingdoms like sort of more like strategy games, like it's just pure strategy games instead of strategy RPGs. Cause yeah, <laughs> those ones are a little too heavy strategy. I got a bunch of mana. I guess we can summon some stuff. Summon. Some some scorpions, centaurs, can summon an angel. Sun two angels. <laughs> no idea what I'm doing. Angels are already dead. They should be invulnerable, right? Alright, let's throw an angel in here. Oop. Okay, yeah, you need enough room power to be able to summon them. Hey, Franken. Still like super confused here. <laughs> I guess we're gonna try a fight really soon. Okay, so the red guys are no, so the red guys are not our friend. It's the orange guys are our friend. Who's red again? Okay, red's the bad guy. Or should I try taking over the yellow first? <laughs> Let's try a fight just for the hell of it. Now, do we have to just move in order to fight things? Okay. So we have to actually like do that during our attack phase, I guess. Yeah, it's like a strategy RPG. I'm not quite sure how the hell this game works, but that's what we're about to find out. I hate the music just it just like stops in like the weirdest point too. It doesn't like fade out and start again, it just like it almost stops. <laughs> it just stops just then and there. Alright, let's try that. Execute. Scully has invaded Kennebone. Sorry, as Sinfire has defended Cannabone. Battle of Xenus. Alright, first battle. Select a unit for battle up to three parties. Oh, we've got three parties, so.
Looks like you're missing a spine. Men need to be physically powerful. Intelligence is useless in the battlefield. <laughs> if I fight you physically, I may not be able to defeat you. Ha ha ha! That's right. Now that you know that, why don't you just give up? You won't get hurt that way. Well, you know I can't do that. I expected some pain from the battle anyway. Don't worry, I have my own plans for this battle. That sounds interesting. Let's see how your plan of yours works out. No matter what your plan is, nothing can compare to my power. Hey, Dream Boss. Move of Din Din. Alright. So we want to keep our monsters in like this this blue area as well. That word destroys enemies. How far can we move? Unicorn's gonna win everything. So I'm assuming we can only move or use magic, we can't do both. Exo blasts. Blue magic allows characters to float. Kill them with rainbows. The power of rainbows. Centaurs. Bagdadam... Bagdadamus? <laughs> yeah, they're not moving. They're like, screw that. We're just staying here. Genfadar. And he does not have a very fast move range. Power. Red magic increases offensive power temporarily. Yeah, this monster is... Well, he, okay, he moved far, but this monsters have a really... A really slow, uh, very short range for his monsters. Ghoul. Ghouls can become vampires or something. So I think you can do 12 turns maximum before, you know, you get booted out. Can we say, okay, we can save, uh, oh, there's even an auto option. That's useful. I'm tempted to try the auto option just to see exactly what it does. And save in battle, which is always <laughs> good to do. Let's see how badly we lose our first battle. So let's see if auto just moves our enemy, or our characters on back there, or if it just does like a what do we call it, computer battle. It's a lot faster than manually moving everything. Tail chain. Ooh, fancy. <laughs> this is one tiny head. Well, 22 damage. Power fist. You missed. Nice. 
pretty detailed, like, character uh, models, anyways. Horn attack. Level 1 versus level 1. <laughs> Critical attack, back kick. <laughs> this is like a chance of happening. They like push him back too. Nice, good. Sucker. <laughs> Unicorn is, is the greatest. Yeah, well, it's a good thing, I guess, it thinks of its, of its turn, otherwise. Uh, Suck. This is use auto. This for the first battle. Mainly moving all these characters is gonna take freaking forever. <laughs> well, that thing is a giant. So, killer shot. Let's go straight for the boss. Detailed models. Oh no, he's going for the unicorn. <laughs> Bastard, don't kill my unicorn. Oh, unicorn, no. You got this unicorn. Counterattack, kick his ass. That was not very strong. <laughs> Terror Jaw. An Atelier game? Possibly. It's like one of these is gonna win the fight. And eat the centaur. is huge. Not my unicorn. Unicorn's gonna die. All Japan only, obviously. No, unicorn! No! The power of friendship lost. Sparkle. As cool as these things are, okay? I have a feeling I'll be turning off the battle animations sooner rather than later. Not no counterattack with that? Did it? Nice. I'm gonna have to check that one out. My centaur is definitely going to be dead here. <laughs> Unless he somehow dodges this. And like dragons and wyverns against the friggin' centaur. Like, who's going to win this fight? Well, he's probably strong against uh, flying creatures. Archers usually are strong against flying creatures. This music is gonna get annoying really fast too. <laughs> Somehow survive that. Oh, I mean, there's they're all fighting one one character, so of course they're gonna eventually wear wear us down. Thunder. 
Thunder. Heal him up. Didn't seem to do much damage there. Guys are not going to be joining the party anytime in the near future. Go, ghoul, go! I mean, the counterattack's probably going to wreck this guy. Level 1 versus level 16. Wow, did no damage. 38 damage, woo! Like 5% health. And the counterattack. Do as much damage as I expected, but <laughs> just the heal up. I was going to say if they heal up if they're in, uh... I think that really did much. I think it would have been better if he used his, uh... I guess, yeah, I guess that was the Paladin, so... It's not too bad. So apparently if you kill the leader and there's still some monsters on their side, you can get their monsters. Assuming you win the battle, obviously, like you win the, the area, or the retreat, or whatever. Brave Knuckle! Martial Artist! I was getting coming back. He was taking on dragons. The blinking. Come on, guy. Geno Thunder. Sounds fun. See how powerful King Kai is. A lot of dudes. So it doesn't look like there's any friendly fire, which is nice. Uh, or was there? No, I didn't hear our guy. <laughs> go, dragon, go! Kicking his ass. Very, very slowly. <laughs> this is going to be a long battle, it's just... <laughs> Watching paint dry. Flying ray. Is that like healing? No, it's some sort of nuke. Oh, well, it's gonna be good because this guy's black, so two white against black. It's gonna do some extra damage. But douche! Wow, that did some really good damage. 265 damage. It's going down. Good thing we brought an angel. Two. 
Oh yeah, yeah, there's definitely going to be an option. Obviously, it's the first fight, so I want to see them, but yeah, I have a feeling I'll be turning these off really soon. cool as it is to see the characters, it just drags the fight that's on way too long. Alright, those are man, you're, you're trying to take on a dragon. I mean, can't see you doing that much damage to a dragon. Plenty of damage! Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you lizard men are all left-handed. Except he's right-handed in the, uh, <laughs> the sprite here, the old world sprite. Oh, kill it. Killer shot? Is it actually going to be a killer shot? Yes, it is. Success! You killed something! Hundred experience. He's probably gonna die now. He's gonna retreat now. Yeah, I noticed the leader just <laughs> stayed put. <laughs> Those giant heads. He's like so puny. It's hilarious. Yeah, just the music of this is super annoying. Ow. It's something that has to like tell you every time what their name is and what they're gonna be doing and it makes the battles so long, yeah. <laughs> These battles seem to be turned off super fast. It could, be, it could be like a five second battle scene, but no, they drag it out to like fifteen seconds each time. Retreat. Force them to retreat. One down. Not oh, two down, nice. <laughs> they're getting out of here. They're like, screw this. process we like we won or we lost two dudes but no we only lost one dude right we lost uh well okay, it's not over yet i guess it's high center i might lose nice completely missed me Experience 200. So everybody gets some XP after we win, which is nice. Alright, we somehow won our first fight. <laughs> We're making his Octobite Asoria. Princess Marriott. Yeah, so, <laughs> so we had fun with that, like, with the uh, ability of seeing the, the attacks last fight. We're definitely going to be turning that off now. It's as cool as the characters look. I, I'm not going to spend, like, an hour per fight 
when you can easily spend, you know, five minutes. Ilya, you're back. Yes, I'm back. Princess Marriott. Please do not call me Princess, just call me Marriott. That's right. I'm sorry, Marriott. By the way, I heard that what Zemeckis did. Is it true that Almakia was overthrown? Yeah, Duckley. So that's PS1 you needed to finish your set. Trade off a Tron Bone? What? <laughs> Trade off Tron Bone? That's probably a decent deal. I think this one went for about a hundred bucks, so... A hundred bucks with, like, the, the map and everything. It's harder to find one that was complete, like, fully complete with the map. Yeah, I figured as much. <laughs> like, Tron Bone's not, a, not an RPG. I'll just trade that away. <laughs> this is true. Kai's been busy because of that. He hasn't spent any time with me lately. Let's see. Is Carly affected by this in any way? We are in need of more soldiers. Think I can help you in any way? What? You? I didn't tell you this, but I'm protected by the magical power of Rune. I kept it a secret because if I became a Rune Knight, then I would have to give up painting. I didn't know. Is it okay for you to become a knight now? You can't just sit around while you're fighting. I happen to know a few strong people who might be able to help. Really? That's great. Welcome to the team, Milia. You have to talk to Kai about this first? You won't say no to anything I want. You're some sister, aren't you? Yeah, two. Gotcha. But it's handy to have a second disc, because <laughs> sometimes you play the games like, oh. <laughs> It doesn't read the disc, because it's, it's got a weird scratch somewhere that wasn't visible. Although I've been lucky, I've only had one game so far uh, that, that I've had issues with, and that was Grand Stream Saga. Like, I literally had two copies of that before starting, and both of them failed in different areas. But that's it so far. Every other game has been 100% playable so far. Uh, well, there, I guess there was Final Fantasy VII. The second disc was, uh, was kind of screwed up, but that's an easy game to get a replacement for. No map. Boo. Yeah, so the, that's why I, I spend a little more for the one with the map. So you get you get a map, and you get like a so it's map on one side, and you get a kind of a chart of the uh, the class changes and everything on the other side. Yep. Yeah, my my PS one list is complete. Uh, my PS two list, I'm missing like one. Uh, like one more RPG to finish it, which is a uh, Graffiti Kingdom. But other than that, it's fully complete. <laughs> oh, my timer look after it goes to 10,000 hours. At that point, my timer will like evolve into like it it'll roll back to zero. <laughs> Lydia has joined. So the characters heal up after we fight, I wonder. Oh, it's like, where'd the guys go? No, it's because we send them over here. Huh. Did you have that one? Nice. I mean... I can I can get it on eBay and that it's just I'm trying to find it for a decent price. I'm not in any rush to pick it up anytime soon because it's uh, later on in the PS2's library, so I won't be playing it anytime in the near future. So picked up a pixie. It came with us. <laughs> you can have a pixie. So HP, yeah, I think the HP comes back fully after uh, in between battles.
let's summon some dudes. Let's summon a dragon, some golems. Golems are slow as hell. Agility, intelligence. What's the mandrake do? Tentacle snap. Forest type. I'm assuming the, the type probably determines the. Um, like they're, they're better in forests, kind of thing. These guys are heavy type. <laughs> Not sure what that means, but. Maybe they can't get, get kicked back or something. Low sky type. Leave me be! What does that do? Critical attack, counter attack only. So two dragons. I don't know how the summoning thing works, like... Is it... I guess the each, each town can summon different things? It's not the person. I mean, it doesn't let me choose who, who can summon. It just I can choose the town and then summon. I get different choices. Some more centers. in the parties. So you have your room limits down here, which tells you how, how, how big of a party you can have. And I'm sure there's a character limit as well, so you can only have, you know, what's it, five monsters in your party? Six monsters. Yeah, the angels look like they're pretty good there, <laughs> especially against uh, dark enemies. Yeah, that angel did like 300 damage to, the, to that one dude. Letish note. Let Letish note. Letitia note. The problem is, <laughs> the more we expand, like we're gonna have to, our character is gonna be weaker to potential attacks. So. I don't want to, like, expand too much, and then my guys are stuck unless I put, like, everybody. Like, I, I'm tempted just to leave this one completely empty. Oh, I should leave this one empty, too. I mean, he doesn't have anybody here, so he's not going to be attacking us. Screw it. We're moving him. Let's protect our... Backside. Yeah, we've got to keep at least somebody in here, just like here, you know. <laughs> Although I guess some of these are probably in the infirmary too. Yeah, and I don't want to leave my castle unoccupied just in case. <laughs> Like, I mean, like, right now, I'm just trying to expand, but it's one of those things, like, you, you kind of need more heroes to expand, because if you have less than three heroes in guarding a place, they, it could get taken over, and you're in trouble. There's only three save points? That's annoying. Get a full memory card. Let me save more than three spots. All right. I'm going to pause the time here for a second. I'll be back in just a minute. Just going to go uh, grab a drink real quick, and I'll be right back.
And I am back. Sorry about that. Hey, Seb. How's it going? <laughs> Not the onions. Alright. Start the timer again. Sore as hell. What happened? dangerous here. I can go this way. Try to attack their castle. How many people do they have here? Four. Got three knights here. Got five here. This one's kind of dangerous. I can also leave these guys alone for now, but <laughs> they're going to attack us. Ow. Ah, uh, that sucks. You okay? Hopefully not too many stairs. It just sounds painful. Hey, Elkman. Yes, we are. Yeah. <laughs> Great friends from Sashi was relatively short. Painful, but short. <laughs> Getting this guy to move. Um. <clears throat> Let me summon here. Yeah, that's good. Execute. Go all out. <laughs> when Rome. Yeah, it's like ogre battle with like uh, some uh, dark wizard thrown in. Definitely a lot of ogre battle. Plastic PSX case thing with the black, big black border. I mean, it's a, it's a dual thick case. So that's what you mean. Long box? Not this one. <clears throat> Long box games were typically only you know, some of the earliest uh, PlayStation games. And then you kind of went all standard with the. Uh... I, I think uh, Kingsfield is the only RPG, anyways, that was available in Long box. <laughs> Although I have the, uh, the rare uh, jewel case version. He's got a unicorn. Oh man, we're doomed. First things first. <laughs> Turn that off. I guess it's just the scene you get when you summon enemies or summon monsters or change class. We'll keep that on. The battle scene definitely adds way too much. Jade Cocoon is nice. I heard mixed things about Jade Cocoon. 
will know when we reach it. <clears throat> Auto. Condition. And one attack, defense, knights three. We have more monsters than them. Means we're gonna win, right? There's been a little bit of story. There's, um, you know, the, the big group in the center has been taken over by like I don't know some some dude that uh, won the um, they took they took over a kingdom and the the king tried to rebel against the the main general. So the main general basically took over. Now they're trying to take over the world. And we're obviously trying to stop them by taking over the world instead. <laughs> we battled with some other guys. But then the game kind of throws you right into the game without really any any sort of tutorial. They're just like, alright, have at it. <laughs> Almost time for Digimon World, yeah. It's coming. Oh, there's three Digimon worlds in PlayStation. I'm surprised we haven't played one yet. Yeah, no battle scenes are going to speed this up a lot. Centaur is doomed. <clears throat> I should have taken it off auto so it didn't overextend like that. Twenty seven hit points, he is dead. <laughs> Somehow still surviving. Oop, not for long though. Now he's dead. Yep. Yep, centaur dude. I know it's it's kind of uh, hard to notice how low they are until it's too late. What did you just cast? <laughs> I guess some sort of nuke. It hits a really wide area. Holy crap! Was the golems? Yeah, 
Yep. <laughs> monsters versus monsters. Chino Thunder. Yeah, all the humans are, um, <clears throat> are the knights, and they just have a party of monsters to fight for them. The rest of the humans are just, like, peasants toiling the fields. <laughs> Three levels for killing that thing. Insane. Many PS1 RPGs. No, no, no. Not enough PS1 RPGs. That's a good match for Potato. Yeah, PS2 is going to be interesting. I mean, PS2 is not necessarily the, the amount, it's more like the quality. I know, right? I mean, the the, uh, the demons turned to Satan, and the angels turned to Lucifer. I mean, Lucifer was a fallen angel, so... Makes sense, I guess, but... Still weird as hell. I'm gonna try some of this combat myself here. <laughs> you can have the game do everything for me. Kill the unicorn! bit of voice acting cutscenes, I don't know. I mean, Brave Fencer Musashi has a lot of cutscenes and voice acting. Holy word. Oh, MP does he have left? Oh, he used all his MP for that holy word attack. Kill, what's his name? Light Sword. Back Megadagadus. Damn! <laughs> Almost one shot him there. Oh, we're gonna win this guy. Alright, what do we have here? <clears throat> uh, what kind of enemies do we have? Fire. Dark. Water. Thunder would be the best one, just because it's not elemental. There's no counter to it, I guess. Isn't there like a... What's it called? Like it's a grand edition on a PS4 game. Uh, grand Kingdom, isn't it? Is it like a successor to this game in any way? <clears throat> 
social media we have left. We have tons. I am rip. I haven't played enough. I guess I should save some for later. Jeez, there's a lot of XP. <clears throat> ah, failed to escape. That means we get to keep them. Missed. That sucked. <laughs> PS1 games are hard to get. Yeah, unless they're available in PSN in some way, but a lot of them aren't. In which case, yeah, good luck. <laughs> Getting closer to her to attack her. I'm going to escape there. The number one lady. Aww. Not fair. Ow. Now oh, we got an extra dragon. <clears throat> Skelly has retreated. Victory! With the actual different translation with like voice acting, that's pretty impressive. I like the bonus XP we get after after winning. <laughs> that way, the people who didn't even have a chance to fight still get some experience. <coughs> entirely unrelated. Crossing is occupied. Let us note. Let us shout. There you go. It's a lot of rags. What are you cleaning? Hi, Kai. What am I cleaning? These are your dirty clothes. I got them from your room. You need to be washed. Oh, you're doing my laundry? You can't stand seeing dirty clothes lying around like that. You gotta be more tidy or else no one would want to marry you. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't want that. I made up my mind. I'll live with you forever and take care of you. How can I leave you alone? You don't know how to take care of, you don't know how to take care of yourself. That's not a good idea. You should move up when you get married. Well, do I have a choice? I'd be glad that a pretty sister like myself is offering to stay with you. And she's totally a... Uh, she kind of wants some of that... Uh, so, some of her brother here. Well, but... <laughs> hmm. What are you doing behind the pillar, Boart? Hello, Master Knight. I was just watching King Kai and Princess Marriott. What are you doing watching? He's like, <laughs> you gotta watch them. They're very close. It's nice to see them get along. Huh? Well, I better get going. <laughs> yeah, that, that's a pervy uh, bow right there. What was that about? Or it's just getting off on the on the, the family relations that's going on there. Well, uh, that's the reason expense it's expensive, uh, Alkman, right? <laughs> so it's one of those things with games. If if a game is like relatively unknown, nobody picked it up to begin with, so there's not very many of them out there. So of course the price goes up. Especially if the game's okay. Like if, if 
obviously if the game is like an amazing game that's uh, like unknown, or not necessarily amazing, but like a, a good game that's unknown, something like Tron Bone, then of course uh, it, it goes for a really high price because there's few of them out there and they're people people want to get them. <laughs> then you have stuff like uh, like this game, which is kind of the middle ground. Like it's, it's not an amazing game by any stretch of the imagination, but Nobody picked it up to begin with, so there's not many of them out there. Oh yeah, yeah, when stuff hits, greatest hits, but then of course people want the, the Black Label versions. So, but even then, stuff like Final Fantasy VII, even the Black Label version, there's so many copies out there. Yeah, I, I, paid, for, I paid less for it. Uh, does that even come with the? Uh, that doesn't even come with the map, so that's not even complete either. Because <laughs> uh, the complete version of this game actually comes with a map. So you know you're definitely going to be paying more for the one with the map because it's it's actually you know <laughs> uncommon to see one with the map. Oh, exactly. Yeah, so some games definitely go for quite a bit more when you're getting the complete versions, or the, the disc versions over the uh, PSN copies. I wonder... no, we, <laughs> there's seven knights here. I wonder if we even have a chance. Probably not. I guess they're down to like... They're down to two places now. They're down to this place and this place. So we've almost taken over the kingdom. The problem is now we're, we're kind of extending our, uh, ourselves a little too much. Some, some more unicorns! These guys have... Airstorm? What's the B mean? I'm gonna read that manual here. Well, this one didn't have greatest hits, but they had. Uh... Yeah, they did have greatest hits. I mean, it was like green label or whatever. Okay, let's see here. Main system, status screen. Okay, eight. Area attack mark, breath attack, okay. So breath effect. Mark indicates breath effect which reaches a linear range. And A is area mark. So that's what that B is. So I'm assuming it, it probably hits maybe two squares in front of the character. Oh yeah, well, that, that's not surprising. I mean, Final Fantasy was such a big title that there's like a million copies out there. Hell, you can still get some of those things new for relatively cheap. Gotcha, that makes sense. <clears throat> a couple of these. That's what they look like. Yeah, some two of these, why not? Look how small their heads are <laughs> relative to their body size.
second. <coughs> This is like stupid, but let's try it anyways. <laughs> it's gonna go right for the castle. Let's just see how bad we we die. I wonder because we can only bring three enemies or three parties into a fight, so will they only have three people on their fight too? If they do, then happens to the rest of them if we if we win the fight. <laughs> they bring every single one of their characters, like all seven of them, into the fight, then we're screwed. <laughs> Send her on a quest, why not? Have been renamed as Onion Lover. Rename the, uh. Rename a, um. Unicorn to be Onion Lover. Alright, let's see how bad we die here. My guess is gonna be very hard. <laughs> Attack! bring three people in. Interesting. Let's just put us on auto for a couple turns so we can actually get close to the enemies. We don't have to manually move everybody every time. Good old Tofu. a duck. Yeah, exactly. I 100% agree. The music is just very... very annoying. <laughs> Like that, like on, on the overworld, there's like a, the music loops, but it doesn't it doesn't loop seamlessly. It just like loops in a, it just like it just cuts our way through the the, the playing and then starts playing again. It's like what the hell? I'm not sure if it's some like weird timing thing on the PS3 or what, but it's, I'm pretty sure it's in like an actual CD audio track, so it could be something like that. Music was definitely not high up on their list of uh, quality of life adjustments to this game. These guys are just gonna turtle up, aren't they? Hmm. 
Yeah. Definitely does. Alright. <clears throat> Put himself like right in the <laughs> special acid breath. That sounds fun. He's a little exposed there. This is gonna suck. Let's try to get him a little less exposed. Sacrificer Jin. Hey, Drummer Freak, thanks for the bits. <laughs> it's for Nintendo. <laughs> So you can only use this attack twice, but he's probably going to die really fast, so <laughs> let's try it out. A little bit of damage. And then this is where everybody dies. Vandal Sight. I'm surprised the like, leader comes right up. <laughs> Just wants to die really fast, doesn't he? Final thing. Ow. It's Bahamut. Okay, guys. So this guy has like some upgraded dudes. Like, what the hell? Not fair. Yeah, it's the breath attack. In that area of attack spell that uh, <clears throat> my paladin has is going to be really good to have here. Just to buff his defense, I guess. Katana Blade. I'm coming, guys! I'm coming! I swear I'm coming! It's coming very slowly. Well, it's better than squares. You can surround somebody a little better with hexes. Alright, time to use my holy word.
so much damage. <laughs> it's gonna get like a million experience for that. Special attack, <clears throat> acid breath. I love insta kill mimics. Things are, these things are nasty. On three hit points, seriously. Come on, game. All right, let's see some magic. Are the weakest against here. It's mostly holy. It doesn't have any holy attacks, does he? No weight magic. Oh, he's got heal, but <laughs> that doesn't count. This will use. Uh... There's some red dudes, so let's use Geno Frost. Oh, it's another one of these, like, AOE things. Good to know. Love these AOE things. <laughs> murder everything! So close to death. <laughs> mm. 
<clears throat> well, <laughs> this is where we lose. He's exposed now. So close, it's so far. And dead. <laughs> Rip. There's nothing more we can do. We have to retreat. It was so close. It was so close. <laughs> Let's just reset here. No, like, there's no quick reset. And we're like, like one hit away from killing the, uh, the main boss dude. Well, killing, wounding main boss dude. But now. for over 30 bucks. It's cheap. Searching the file. But I'm not found. <clears throat> Alright, um... There's gonna be some in here. We need more, like, more giants. <laughs> more gins. Not too more gins. At least they have an AoE attack. So do dragons, but we don't have dragons here. Those are the two parties that I can actually move more than like one square. <laughs> this guy's so useless. Unless I just spend next turn to get him a little closer to the uh, to the enemy troops. These guys are probably okay. They're just slow as hell. at all. No stock. Any equipment. So this place can get attacked. I noticed. <laughs> Let's move this guy. This guy over here. Some some more monsters.
Schrecken. again. <laughs> Execute. Yeah, would be nice. <laughs> I'll make my uh, third group there move forward first before we move these other guys. I'll put them on auto. That way I'll give them at least a little bit of a head start. Because he's so freaking slow. He gets to move after all the enemies move, which kind of sucks. That'd be interesting. How would you better do training? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> They're just gonna wait there. Because, I mean, they win automatically if uh, if you get to turn 12, or I think if you go past turn 12, then you're automatically routed. So they don't have to move, they just have to stand there. If you don't go for them, then they win automatically. So they have no advantage. There's no advantage for them to run towards you. Hey, Mr. Holman. Good evening. Damn it, Daffy, do something. Yeah, it's a little overextending there, buddy. <laughs> Stupid AI. Kind of put himself right in harm's way. Hey, Will Yahweh. You didn't see me on earlier. <clears throat> I'm always on. What do you do? What do you mean? My stream never ends. Constant flow of, of RPG goodness. <clears throat> I'm really happy there's this auto combat thing at least. Because just, just mainly moving all these characters by hand would be such a pain in the ass. I mean, they, they don't exactly move in the smartest way, especially when they, they overextend their wizard, but I'll take whatever I can get. 
Yeah, Twitch is weird like that sometimes. Alright, let's turn off auto now that we're close enough. They might start coming towards us, maybe? It'd be nice to just taunt one group of enemies away without taunting everything. And the fact that he's casting power there means that giant will probably come after us. So we might get group number three coming towards us. Or not. <laughs> Never mind then. Boost this dragon. This is the 24 hour streams, yeah. Never ending RPG quest. Alright, it's just, uh, it's just go a little bit at a time here so we're not uh, overextending. Try to taunt the enemies away. Got the water, this one. <laughs> Look at the beautiful reflection of the uh, sky on it. A little too still, though. If water was that uh, reflective there. Like, there's never any wind in this. Uh, wait, who's moving? to bring that up there, but it's going to be overextending a little too much. Just put him here. I swear they come with, they come at us with like a huge like AoE attack and we just regret bundling everybody together like this. Our AoEs do pretty good damage, actually. It's just... Alright, now they're probably going to come after us, right? Right? Come on. At least number three's got to come after us. It'd be nice if we could just taunt one of them away. Because we're definitely in range for, like, group number three here. Yay! That's what I like to see. Now we can actually kill, like, them one at a time. Missed me. Not my gin. of the uh, giant. We don't have any ice spells. Generates poison around enemies. Hmm. Oh, can poison them. Go! 
Golem Punch, go! Haven't seen the Golem in action yet. Must have been so slow. Tiny head. That's a pretty good, pretty good hit there. That was a crit. 161 damage. Counter attack. Power fist. No. <laughs> crit versus crit. AG. Another strategy RPG. We haven't played one in a while. <laughs> We've had like, had like Xeno Gears there for what, 60 something hours? Or 80 something hours. Jeez, Xeno Gears is like huge. So it's been a bit since we played an action RPG. Or a uh, strategy RPG. It's nice and relaxing though after, uh, like, after Brave Pencer Musashi. That one was stressful as hell, Rig. It was a short game, but god, that game was so stressful. I'll take it. <laughs> mm. Over here to kill this guy. Well, this one supposedly is relatively short, but there's five characters, so I plan to play the, all, all five characters since each one is supposedly pretty short. As long as it takes me around like 10 hours or less to play one character, then I'll. Uh, be going for all five, although we're already two hours in, so it's kind of hard to tell. Necro Eater. Ow. Game was I talking about this one? Well, this one has five characters, so there's uh, five different stories, if you will. Although it doesn't seem to be too much in the way of story. There's a couple of little cutscenes here and there, but so I mean, if, if if it's relatively quick to finish one character, I'll play like multiple characters. If it's if it's relatively long, I'll just do one. But I'm not in range of anybody. Oh yeah, I guess we are. Kill this guy. Night Sword. Yeah, the first battle definitely took a long time. Animations are kind of neat to see, but yeah, you don't want to see them like a lot. Because, god damn. Right here. 
The worst part is we can't move anywhere near the enemy. Because the enemies block our path, so we can't move past like a, a spot where they would be able to attack, as most of these games, so normally I'd be able to move here, but that would require moving past this guy, which would prevent us from moving, so. It's got all these dudes that we can't do anything with. We don't hit our own guys. Pretty sure there's no. Okay, I was gonna say pretty sure there's no friendly fire, but apparently there is when it comes to breath attacks. Anyways, doesn't seem like AOE magic has friendly fire, but the attacks definitely do. This. Now we know. With a flying sound, and woo, 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 woo. Oh. enemies coming for us. I noticed the uh, what's his name isn't in this group this time. Drist. I guess he stayed behind. It's weird that uh, wolf didn't attack us. Kill this guy. Problem is, all I, ha all I have is, m is like. Yeah, let's try black magic. Yay. running away. Turn six, we're halfway there. Alright, what's the range on this thing? Yeah, we can do a, quite a bit of damage here. We can get practically everybody. Let's do it. Area here. I'll miss. 
Bullshit. Sucks when they get crits. <laughs> and we don't. Not fair. Um no good spot. <laughs> well there's there's some dude that took that uh there's an empire that took over like another uh, kingdom, and the king tried to betray you know, the general that led the army. Basically, branded him a, uh, a traitor. So the general's like, "Nope, <laughs> I'm gonna take this shit from you." So he basically took over the empire. Now he's going, he's trying to take over the world. So we're trying to stop him by, I don't know, taking over the world ourselves. The real story, you know. Positions here. Sisters of Waipu, yeah. <laughs> yeah, sister, uh. S this siscon <laughs> going on here. Like, it's, a, it's okay, brother. You don't have to marry anybody. I'll, I'll stay around and. And do, do the, the typical wifely things. Um, all my dudes are in the way. HP. Done a six frickin' HP. Retreat? <laughs> the hell? Why did she retreat? Fine with me, but it was weird. Ah, suckers. Run away, you fools. Run away! Mwahahaha. <laughs> hey, Dard Gamer. So, what happens now? Since they retreated, did we take over their castle? I don't get it. Guess we'll find out very shortly. <laughs> the final boss came close, but no. I, I finally kicked his ass. God, that final boss fight. Oh, man. Can you just give us a list of the people leveled up instead of like individually leveling up each person? Yeah, we did take it. Nice. Battle of Hurry. Three dudes versus <laughs> two dudes. This will be interesting. Now we've got angels. Look at you've got relatively small parties. Level 26, though. Yes, yes, it will.
Do the magic they have protect. Gonna, it's gonna be a, a pretty tough fight here, I think. I'd be very surprised if we can win this. Maybe we'll get lucky and they'll retreat, like, even though they're at full health. Just like last, uh, the last group we were fighting there. Like, oh, the full health, and they start retreating. I was like, what? I like charm. Make sure we save before they get too close. <laughs> You just end the entire group <laughs> instead of doing it individually, like I was doing. <laughs> what am I gonna do to celebrate? I'm gonna play some more games! I'm thinking of doing something for the 200 games. The 200th game. It's coming up soonish. I don't really have anything planned for 4,000 4, hours though. Pixie is not designed for fighting. I can see that now. I figured they would do more damage to, like, flying creatures. But oh, we're boned. <laughs> Who else warriors root play? God, no. Pixie, no! Brian. Yes, indeed. Next game. Good old tactical RPG. So screwed here. There's no way in hell we're winning this fight. Like, absolutely no way we can win this fight. Unless for some weird random reason the, the enemy decides to run away. That's unlikely.
Wow, well, 184 health. Woo. I try to defeat the uh, the enemy, like the bosses, or else they're just gonna I'm screwed anyway. Look at it. Try to get them to to run away. It's very unlikely to happen, but. Overboned. <laughs> uh, I gave it a three out of five. Damn it! Reload. I, I would again like a four out of five if it wasn't for that, like the the stupid. Uh, yeah. Just I don't know. Just just. It has personal rating, obviously, so when it comes to the games where they require, like, a lot of, uh, a lot of platforming, a lot of, like, well, rhythm gaming, <laughs> you got a stupid fight against the, uh, against Toto or whatever her name was. Man, <clears throat> yeah, there's no way we can win this fight. Well, there's no way we could have won this fight, I should say. Like, we're obviously lost it now, but... You got the Sierra. The Earring of the Sea. That makes her super powerful. Geno Frost, go! <laughs> Maybe all the centaurs are female. It's kind of hard to tell with horses. They're just all topless. Aquatic use only. Boo. We killed one! Woo! <laughs> First and last uh, enemy that we we're gonna kill. Watch them all retreat now. <laughs> it's like, oh, we, we came close. Run away. It would be hilarious if they started retreating. Ow. <laughs> nope, they're not retreating. Run away. Man, it would this, this would be extremely hard to to win. Like I don't know if it'd be possible at all. Three again, three like pretty strong ones against us. But we need to, we kind of need to win. Otherwise, like that splits up our. That's actually really bad because now they're gonna have access to like this one right here. So we need to survive that one. Uh, They're not a quick. There's no quick load option, is there? Let's see if the manual has a control. Maybe it's like a I'm trying the standard Vulcan death grip. But let's see here. Mm, select start. Select start. No. Right, let's just reset the console. Reset game. Yeah. 
You want centaurs? Shining Force, my friend. Shining Force. Just to ruin Centaur's rep. May slightly restore Centaur's rep, though. Yep. May for May for life. May best waifu. <sighs> well, obviously we, we can't bring like Pixie into the battle directly. Nice to go into water. <laughs> this guy is like good in water, but there's no water around here, is there? Nope. No water. Just need one little pond. That's all we needed. Yeah, it definitely, it definitely makes things interesting, especially if there's certain types that are strong against other types. Which, I mean, there might be in this game. I think it's mostly elemental, though. As you can see, there's uh, see those little icons. This one's got a white icon down underneath the level. So white, of course, is holy. That's strong against... Um, strong against darkness. I don't know if this guy even has any darkness ones. But. So the holy will do, like, extra damage to darkness. And vice versa, so darkness will do extra damage to holy. Uh, we got red and red and uh, blue, so ice like water and fire counter each other. If you're, if you're attacking something of the same color, then you're going to do less damage. So white against white is going to take less damage and do less damage. But unlike uh, unlike most games that have elements, there's no like triangle kind of thing like. You don't have uh, water being stronger than fire, which is stronger than, like, wind or something like that. It's just literally red and blue counter each other all the time. So if, if you're... Like, this guy's blue too, so it's like a level 2 blue power. He goes against, uh, like, a level 2 red power dude. Then he's going to do as much damage to the, to the red dude as the red dude's going to do to him. <laughs> Billcock? What's wrong, what's wrong with Billcock? It's a fantastic name. Those weren't evil parents or anything. <laughs> I said, Bill, oh no, you're right. I'll have to wash out my mouth with soap. Cheating at the range here.
Shuriken does a lot of damage. Probably want to protect that as much as possible. Zutzmeister. <laughs> yeah, Duncan protection. Alright, so let's see, uh, it's Angel. Protect on the uh, the Hydra. It's probably our strongest creature here. Skelados. Yeah, what the hell's the range on that thing? Maybe he's gonna retreat. <laughs> Ritual thinking. God, we are so screwed. <laughs> yeah, that seems to be a common scenario with a lot of uh, range attacks in games. Range attacks usually aren't counterable. Try charming this. I guess it was successful. That's a pretty crazy range on this. Unfortunately, I can't hit more than one thing. Here I'll be out of range for support, so damn it. I wonder where that guy's going, but it doesn't seem to be coming for us. Uh I think you do, but as long as you retreat, because if if you get wounded instead of retreating, then you're usually going to lose your, your monsters. So you kind of want to run instead of retreating. Or you kind of want to retreat, I should say, instead of uh, losing. Oh, 
my pixies out of magic. Merman. <laughs> oh crap. <laughs> uh, <laughs> doing better than the first time, but not by much. <laughs> well, this guy's got like really strong monsters. Doesn't help. Oh, great. Ow. <laughs> Ten damage. Good going, Pixie. I knew you had it in you. At least the enemies are kind of running away. <laughs> but we're still screwed. And this is where we die. Looks like we didn't die. Pixie's surviving somehow. <laughs> Got a critical. 132? Wow, what the hell was that? That was a nice strong attack by the Pixie. Final Fantasy Tactics? Yeah, Final Fantasy Tactics is way too broken. In, like, every way. Of course we had to miss. <laughs> Heal my gotta heal this guy. It's more important than my life. Oh man, we are so scared. Surprised we've lasted as long as we did though. gonna have to run away as soon as the fight starts. I'll have to come back and at least try to block off the the enemies from uh, advancing further. Now they're coming in for, for an attack to finish this off. Oh, he's dead. No, we lost our best enemy. Yeah, 
Yep. All right, let's just, uh... We're just going to have to, like, escape right away, because there's no way we can win this. But at least we can escape with our, uh... With our dudes, and just regroup at the castle, like, blocking them from, from progressing further, and just take over our castle. Uh... The attack was too broken in every way. Exactly. That means it's fun. It's fun being like super powerful that you just wreck everything. It's fun being the bad guy. All right, so let's just let's just instantly retreat here. <laughs> retreat and fight another day. Oops. Live to fight another day. Uh. Where's my map? <laughs> I want to go to the one that's to the uh, west of here. So right now we are in Hervey, so Baynox is the one we want to go to. Xenos already has... Uh, Sad. Maybe split our split our group to two. All right, so this one has three people right now. Although I should get some more monsters. This one currently has the two. Summon some more monsters. Gonna have a lot of health, but Let's summon two dragons. Let's do that. Dragons seem to be pretty powerful, especially with their breath attacks. squeeze any more into these guys. Oh, she's gone in her quest, isn't she? Shit. <laughs> it's not good. Alright, we're gonna have to... Mm, we we'll have to go fight from here to over here just to take that place back. And that's gonna leave that one exposed. Man. <laughs> we're screwed anyway we look at it. Three guys here, six guys here. Leave Kai here. Move these two over here. I wonder if I can move them like, no, I probably can't move them here. Forward, like 
There, are two dragons. Triton's not that good here. So bad. <laughs> There's only two knights here now. They sent one of them back. Good. It means we have a chance to get back. Send her. Back Hervey. Hervery. Oh, yeah, I guess they are split up, right? <laughs> yeah, it's definitely not as good. Music is very repetitive too. It's very, very mediocre in practically every way. <laughs> He's like, no, screw this. That's good. It's one less enemy we have to worry about. The other guy's probably gonna flee as well. <sighs> At least taking it back is a lot easier than uh, fighting. Than uh, you know, 
losing it. <laughs> repeating the same thing we did, they're just like, nope. Not gonna take a chance here. And now they retreat. <laughs> Easiest take back ever. Yeah, at least we got some experience too. I had a feeling they'd come after me. That's why I kept my strongest character here. I have a chance of keeping it. There's only two of them. I don't know. Two from every direction. Kai's got this. Ah, yes. Parasite Eve. A good game to keep for Christmas, but you know, <laughs> it's not gonna happen. Well, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of, uh, I mean, it's, it's kind of like a horror theme one, so <laughs> you don't have to have, take too many guesses on what caused it to have a rated M rating. Or just look at the box. The box will tell me. <laughs> so the ESRB rating thing is for. Right. Let's go kick their ass. Try to do as much damage as we can to the bosses so they run away. Thanks, Brian. 240,000 minutes. A lot of minutes. 190, eh? Ice. Unfortunately, we don't have any ice. Just have like red magic. Or oh, do have frost? But... Ah, that's not gonna reach him. 
just out of range for anything other than Geno Thunder. Or Geno Flame. No, no, Geno Flame, sorry. Geno Thunder. Geno Thunder is the only thing that can reach him. It's just an area effect around that. I'm off to use it. I should definitely be weak enough to run away now. Get out of my sight. What am I going to explain to my lord? 14 million seconds. <laughs> hey, sea urchin. Doing good? Right, so that's one enemy way. Uh, let's protect... Uh, Make sure we keep ourselves protected here. Thirty-two damage. It's pathetic. Ow. that. <laughs> Music gets extremely repetitive. I learned to hate it really quick. Missing, what the hell? In trouble here. Good to hear, Reg. Kitty's getting good, we're getting better. It's always a good sign. Jeez, six HP. I love when we're down to like a couple HP and they st they'll still do maximum damage unless you actually kill them. I lose my gin here, but kind of need to concentrate on this guy. This is the only one protecting this castle, so we need to uh, <laughs> need to get these guys to run away. 
and fight through some some of my monsters. That hurt. Oh man, my giant is so dead here. One more hit, that's all it takes. And he's dead. Giant new. No. <laughs> Critical of 62 damage. Not impressive. Magic power. I can't do anything with my gin. Why do they not have enough for like three uses of this? It's the stupidest thing. My gin is useless now. He's got like one more use of this. Well, before he dies, might as well use it. Getting tired. <laughs> I'm sick of the food. It's like too much, too much of this, of this food. No more. Had enough. Okay. Well, if I use my magic here, uh, I don't want to use my magic against this guy. I need to save it for her. She's still pretty strong. He's basically dead. Yeah, he's gonna run away, guaranteed here. But if I kill him, damn it! <laughs> Which I do have a, I do have a potion, don't I? Right, let's just try to kill this guy. If we wound him, at least he'll be out of commission for a while. I really incompetent, and we get, we can keep his monsters probably. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> didn't, didn't. So at least they're not moving towards us. So there is that. Yeah. Fury swipes. Exactly. You're able to handle this place by yourselves. Oh. New Kai was super OP. Did lose one dude though. Or did we lose one or two? <sighs> Marriott's quest. <laughs> Marriott met a dwarf in the forest. The dwarf spoke to Marriott as if they were old friends. Hello, would you like to have this? It's free. The dwarf reached out 
You were shot with a strange mushroom. Hey, what's wrong? Don't you like mushrooms? It's unlikely that a knight is afraid of a tiny mushroom, don't you think? Dwarf was staring at Marriott with a smile. Then Marriott ate the mushroom. <laughs> mushroom tasted strange, but taste was not bad. How's that? That was my best one. Well then, I'll see you later. Dwarf disappeared into the forest. Afterwards, Marriott felt energy riding from inside. 5 HP! I, I've my dogs always had uh, dry dog food. Keeps their teeth in check too. It is looking under a sketchbook. Remember this? It was so beautiful. I wonder what happened to the man who was living in that shack. The loot told me he was protected by the power of the rune, but he never applied to become a knight. Maybe I should pay him a visit. Okay, so we kept our. We're alive, somehow. Is there any monsters in stock here? How did Myriad get here? Was Myriad here before? Alright. Yeah, we, we, yeah so we lost a djinn, we lost a giant. Lost two dudes. So this place over here. I'm in three nights here? What the hell? <laughs> a lot of nights in this spot. If we defeat these guys, I wonder what happens then. Like where where can they go? They can't escape anywhere. Do they just die? Or do they automatically Oh man, there's nine here? Jeez. We got their entire entire collection of knights in this one spot. Man. <laughs> we need to uh, put some more guys here. These places have three guys. Alright, well, Baynock, we can move. Send him over here. Which uh, mana do we have? Got a rock, wyvern. Mandrakes seem to be pretty useless against most stuff. Summon one rock. Have a good night, demonic maniac. Bye for now. Thanks for stopping on by. We're on stairs, cats enjoy you. Which humans downstairs? Yes, yes they do. Cats are evil bastards like that. She needs way more than these guys. It's a really crappy group of enemies here, of, of characters. these things ready to level up. Oh, there we go. Lizard man can turn to... Lizard guard! Da da da! Wow! So much different! <laughs> Digivolved! More mana do I have here at 775? Majestic Rock.
you these guys ready to level up? Jin, this shouldn't do good damage, but the problem is the like this guy's got enough MP to, to use two two attacks, and that's it. <laughs> so it makes it really hard to use them for for anything. Time zones, gotta love time zones. Okay, uh, I think we should just take a turn, not do anything. Let's try to survive. We want to take over this one, obviously, but I mean, at least we don't have to be—we don't have to be a pincer attack. We can't do that with him alone right now. Well, I guess I can send both of these, but if I send both of these, then we're screwed if they attack on this side. I. I'm sure they're going to be attacking us anyways, so... And so they're attacking us from that side. And Marriott and Billcock are both, like, low level, too. It'd be a good way to get some experience, I guess. So mean nobody loses. <laughs> Gigasses too. And they, they, they sent Drist after us. Uh, maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe Drist will come up and we'll be able to wound him or something. As soon as he goes down, then everybody leaves. It's a it's a nasty group. Bird, Sonic Boom, Dangerous is all in range. Random, random paralysis. That could be useful. If 
developer kind of focus on weird text-based adventure games and fishing games? <laughs> really? So I figured, like, I haven't heard of this developer at all. Like, well, obviously Atlas published it in North America there, but uh, what the hell was the name of that developer? It was, like, Robin something. Or Heart Hardy Robin. It's like, what the hell? I've never heard of Hardy Robin. Oh yeah. Not a surprise, I guess. I guess in the PlayStation era, they, in the PS1 era, they just want to bring out as many games as possible considering how well the PlayStation was doing, so they they pushed through a lot more games than they would have back in the uh, in previous eras. And really, like, development costs were relatively small compared to, you know, the SNES era as well. You had to localize the game, and that's basically it. In terms of making, you know, producing this stuff is, is cheap as hell. I mean, you just had to stamp out a whole bunch of CDs. You didn't have to invest money in, like, you know, in carts and that. So that definitely helped a lot of developers kind of bring out uh, games that wouldn't have taken a chance before. Come on, Trist. I think we could potentially do too, because I mean, they have to, they have to defeat us in 12 turns or less. Why couldn't we just like run around like crazy? <laughs> just run away as far as possible. You can always win a fight, but just run. <clears throat> Poison breath. <laughs> Not my unicorn. <laughs> Thirty damage. Mohammed versus unicorn. Mohammed wins. Our friendship is a lie. Well, I can imagine. That's the thing, right? I mean, that's why a lot of a lot of uh, developers in any of the card eras just didn't bring games out to, to the West because of the cost. You'd have to put in a lot of money to bring out a bunch of cards, and if, if the game did bad, then you have a bunch of cards that you have to throw away and... ...spent a lot of money on those cards. CDs, hell, you stamp them for like cent, for a couple of cents, like who cares? If it does badly, then okay, you lost some money, but you didn't lose as anywhere near as much money. So that, that was definitely a major factor in PlayStation era, like the number of games we got in this era versus previous eras.
Oh yeah. I mean, just just uh, burnable media back then was expensive. Plus, you'd have to have a CD burner, which was expensive as hell. <laughs> Everything about it was expensive. Oh, missed. A mud of Saturn would be nice. Yeah, N64 did poorly everywhere. Nintendo basically just dug their own grave with the N64. Oh, exactly. And I mean, Nintendo is Nintendo had a lot of uh, a lot of uh, what's the word I'm looking for here. Uh, they did a lot of things that developers didn't like, or you know, that were d developer unfriendly people. Well, Sony kind of catered more towards the developers, so it's like. Huh. We're going over here. <laughs> These guys are nicer. Unicorn survived somehow. Not for long, though. Unicorn, no! Zephyr up! Sashi with the tier one sub! 
Thanks so much for the support. Continue the support, actually. You've been sub before, haven't you? Welcome back. How's it going? Yeah, I mean, N Nintendo, like, everything Nintendo does just screams, like, anti-consumer. I mean, look at the Switch and the whole the whole Nintendo online fiasco where, you know, if you want to save your backup, your, 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 your game backups, uh, there's no easy way of doing it other than with uh, either by hacking the system. Like, you, you can't make physical backups of, of your saves in any way. Use your Switch or screw unless you have Nintendo Online, and even then, you can't save everything. All right, this is where it gets interesting. Okay, so we need to we need to get this guy. I guess the most important thing to, to try to kill right now. things completely. Like, that's the worst thing is being completely miss. <laughs> no virtual boy. Thank god. Yeah, the, the virtual console, console thing is bullshit. That I 100% agree there. It's like, hey, you wanted to play it... You already bought it on the uh, Wii? You want to play it on the Wii U? Yeah, you gotta pay us again. You wanna play it on your 3DS? Oh yeah, you gotta pay us again. <laughs> At least Sony does it well, right? You buy a PS1 game on PS3, you can play it on your PS1... Or your PS3, you can play it on your PS3, you can play it on your PSP, you can play it on your Vita. You can play on your PS4 because you know they decide to just get rid of get rid of it on PS4, but you know, that's just a different story. I haven't looked at uh, I haven't looked at the Wii Online or the Nintendo Switch Online since it came out. Have they even released any other games other than the, the initial uh, initial like amount of initial games that they, they came out with? This things help. <laughs> It's gonna hit all our rust too. That's not good. Man, why are these things so hard to hit? Did, did I accidentally like? So I can tilt it from the top down. How did I, okay, there you go. It's like, how did I get rid of my HUD? <laughs> it's the L2 button.
on. Stop missing. This is too OP. Is he getting petrified? Looks like he's petrified. <laughs> Nintendo knowing how to do online? Never. My lizard loon. Um, I'm on my rock. Faster. Zoom entry and sort of privacy, pretty much, right? I mean, a lot of people who pirate the like the Nintendo or all the Nintendo stuff would be more than happy to actually pay money for the stuff if it was available. It's not available. There's there's no legitimate way of getting this stuff without paying massive prices for for these these carts like from resellers. And Nintendo's not getting a cent of it anyway, so it's not like. Uh, not like there's any point in buying anything from, from the resellers. If Nintendo actually offered this stuff, then people would buy it, and then it would make money out of it. <laughs> but instead, Nintendo just, I don't know, Nintendo just does their own thing and thinks like, oh yeah, you know, we're doing it the right way. Nobody knows how to do it the right way. Only we do. Can we get Driss from here? No. I'm Driss to run away. It's the only option I have here.
stuck here. Can't hit the bastard. Somehow survived. Ow. God, the range in that spear throw is crazy. Wow. I gotta think of my positioning when it comes to dragons, because <laughs> stuff like that happens. Rip dragon. I wish I could move and use my special attack at the same time. Be like, oh man, hit three of these guys, but no. Hurt a lot of our guys, but you know what? It's worth it. Well, a lot, two of our guys. Especially if it paralyzes enemies. No. Oh. Oh. Hit our guys more than they hit theirs. It's not fair.
Come on, kill Grist. <laughs> so close. 35, alright. Riven's got it. Unless he misses. He's gonna miss. <laughs> I didn't miss. Nice. Ha ha ha, you are good. I guess I'll have to come back some other time. I right, should make everybody leave, I'm guessing. No? When our leader gets... Okay, I was gonna say... Like, when our leader uh, gets defeated, everybody has to leave. But it better be the same. Okay, I would like to show you my new inventions. Okay, I'll take a look at them. I'd like to start with something which could be used for everyday life. The stick is used, but when you lean on it, you can sleep standing up. When and where would people use this? Guards of the castle. You can take a nap and their captain won't know because they're standing up. <laughs> Great. And that's when the enemy should invade the castle, right? Well, let me show you the next item. These boots should come in handy on the battlefield. You wear these, you can jump up normally higher. Must be difficult to land if you jump that high. If you're too high, then you'll definitely die. Oh. <laughs> you ready for the next item? Sure. Next item is my great invention. It's a carriage that runs without horses. I call it a car. That's great. But is there any problems with it? Problems? No, there are no problems. The only downfall is I can only move as fast as a human. Oh, well, that's not a big deal. A new way to travel. But, when you put something on top of it, it'll either slow down or stop due to weight. <laughs> so, what do you think? Seems like Marriott is, has a new toy maker. It's a great idea. I think I can make good toys. So these guys are going to keep coming after us over and over, which is going to be a pain in the ass. So many characters that last fight. Ay. Such a limited number of uh, things we can summon here, too. Quantity over quality is going to be the best bet here. I got a copy of Terra Enigma. Nice. Yeah, I can imagine.
<laughs> Alright, I really need to go try to kill these guys. Uh, maybe if I just go with... Uh, Zenus, man, this sucks like I'm gonna be attacked from like every angle here, which is not fun. So they're holding their own pretty well for now. If I expand here, I'm screwed, so I need, I need to take over this place first, but <laughs> this one's extremely hard, and there's like nine of them. I need to take over this one so we're not stuck in a pincer attack, but then... Ugh, this is... this is tough. Oh, I, I agree 100% adversary. Like, at this point, any... Un unless they're, like, re-releasing uh, old... Like, they're, they're republishing uh, old games, like... Yakuza is a great example. Like Sega just recently, you know, had, like, a... Like a, a reprint of Yakuza. So that one you can get legitimately, and you know, they're, they're making money off of it. But anything else you buy from like previous eras, none of the money is going to the pockets of the developers at this point. So there is no such thing as legitimate. <laughs> You're just buying from resellers. You're just lining the resellers' pockets at this point. So, you know, play a game emulated or buy a quote unquote legit copy of the game. The only uh, the only difference or the only change would be stuff like uh, you know PSN. Like if you can buy a game on PSN, you know they're still they're making money that way. So technically, I mean, even buying a like, like a physical copy of a game is, is is almost illegitimate compared to buying it like on PSN, buying a digital copy, which is weird when you think about it. Oh, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> getting legitimate, you know, Nintendo stuff at this point, it's not gonna, it's not possible. You know, Nintendo doesn't offer it digitally, and uh, physical copies, Nintendo's not making a cent off of it. So yeah, <laughs> hire it away. And what are you, the only time you'd ever use Quest is when you're not, you know, surrounded on every freaking side. I need to finish off the, the yellow guys here. Otherwise, I mean, I, I, I need to, I need to, uh, to strengthen up my border here. The only way I can do that is by crushing the yellow guys, taking this this palace here. So I need to get rid of this one first. So let's do that. Let's make a save. Oh yeah, it's impossible, but still. <laughs> still have your Earthbound complete in box. <laughs> so, you know you want to. Well, yeah. <laughs> why, why make a, like a rip yourself when you already have... It's already been ripped out uh, on the internet. Copy and paste, problem solved. Scratch and sniff master bar. Was there a scratch and sniff thing in uh, Earthbound? That's awesome. A very Earthbound thing to do. Yeah, there's probably not much of the uh, order of compounds at this point. if we attack this place and then our, our place is attacked. <laughs> I'm assuming we're just gonna have the one dude protecting this place. Whatever. Let's try it anyways. I 
Battle of Xanax. Black armor and four-eyed helmet. You must be the infamous Kadoor. I can see why people call you the Death Knight. You can feel the evil aura from you. Moans of pain, screams of desperation are the source of my energy. Nightmaster, are you ready to become part of my energy source? No way. Death Knight cometh. You know, it's really strong against... I mean, Vampire Lord. This guy's got some powerful enemies. Powerful, uh... Characters here. First fade into absurdity. Yeah, unfortunately. Poor scratch and sniff. It's, it's, it's pretty meh. Can't stop the kittens. So far, anyways. I mean, all we're doing is just trying to survive. Pretty poorly, I might say. Vampire Lord is like the, the two times upgraded version of the ghoul. These ghouls turn, turn the vampires and then turn the vampire lords. Crazy. Nice. Not so nice. <laughs>
unfortunately playing the Switch version. I guess the Switch version of that one uh, sucks compared to the uh, DS version. I've never actually, like, fully played Can't, uh, The World Ends With You. I played a little bit of it and I just, I don't know, I just stopped playing it for a while. Man, it's everybody but the boss. Whatever, I'll do some damage here. Kill the vampire lord. Nice. Really? That sucks. <laughs> this is always the problem when you try to convert like a game designed for dual screens into a single screen experience. Lost in translation. Use Geno Flame. This is gonna hurt. Ow. <laughs> oh, my Google. Go. <laughs> Six, that's it. Ugh. Come on, three hit points. <laughs> Come on, game. Ouch. What the hell's with the range? Oh man, one hit point. <laughs> That's insane. One HP.
I'm going out, I'm going out in the blaze of glory. That does a lot of damage. Got the mando. He's gonna be the best one, or he's gonna die instantly. One or two. Some damage. Screwed. my last save by the way. <laughs> How is this guy not running away? What's the run away? Damage output from this guy. Wow. No chance here. If we lost so many of our guys. Like, it's just. At this point, we're better off just. cutting our losses and, like, leaving. This guy is super hard to kill. You keep missing the bastard, which does not help things. Twenty hit points. Not enough to kill him. Rip. <laughs> of course he retreats just after doing that.
we lost so many monsters there. Some good quality ones too. Whatever. Sawdust is awesome, though. Another pervert from Miskello, huh? Is there anybody in Miskello who's normal? <laughs> pervert? Are you calling me a pervert? I just don't know what kind of people I deal with on a daily basis. What is this Marriott? I really know about life in the palace. In any case, you don't seem like a normal person to me. God, it's been so long since I've had nerds. <laughs> Saved in a while. Ugh. Oh, yeah, I remember the hot cold ones. Those were good. anything I can answer. Exactly. Everybody knew E.T. was the console seller.
Well, it sold more copies than the actual Switch console. Yep. But I mean, it came out of both Switch and Wii U, so I'm wondering if they're combining both of those together. Because, of course, one of those games that everybody owns a Switch and a Wii U probably picked up. <laughs> Yeah, I haven't played a AAA game, AAA game in forever. Yeah, indie games are definitely the way to go. There's always like originality. There's always something new to to see in indie games. AAA games is just the re repetition over and over. They just keep selling the same crap because that's what sells, and there's no innovation. It's like a new coat of paint every year. <laughs> indie is definitely where it, where it is now. The main problem with AAA is it just devolves to, you know, microtransactions and trying to sell you the game as a service instead of, you know, the game as a, a unit. Which sucks. Consider Octopath a AAA at all. Octopath is, I mean, it's made by practically the indie side of, uh, of, of Square Enix. It's Square Enix, but it's not like it's not a Square Enix, you know, like a first-party Square Enix. More like a third-party, like a, a sub-team Square Enix game. 
I consider AAA like a franchise where they put a lot of money into. Your, your, your standard stuff like uh, the Call of Duty games and the uh, Assassin's Creed games, you know. Or the ones where they're, they, it's more like a, an indie game with like the logo of Square Enix on it? No. Those I don't consider indie. Your mileage may vary, but... <laughs> Not that much. I, I I don't think Octopath was. I mean, they probably when they when they probably saw you know how well it was kind of being received maybe, but I mean in general, they didn't, they didn't put that much money into it compared to like a, a Final Fantasy game, for example. I mean, like really like <laughs> I. I uh, like, if there's a triple-A game, there's gotta be, like, a, you know, an AA game or an A game. It's more like an A-level game, not a triple-A game. Like, there's gotta be a, a certain cutoff point of how much money they put into the damn thing to be considered triple-A, right? Triple-A is something that they throw, like, millions of dollars into. Impossible. We're getting a bunch of monsters here. I'm feeling to escape. All our monsters, all of ours. That's it, right? I mean, it has they, they put like a lot of money into it, both advertising and uh, obviously the budget. Like Octopath Traveler is not AAA. They did not advertise that game. Like you didn't see like commercials everywhere. You didn't see it being, you know, advertised on like uh, talk shows and stuff like that. Like you do, but you know, you know, like real AAA titles. It was, it was just like, all right, yeah, you know, here's. It was like word of mouth more than anything. It was the advertising for it. And I'm sure the budget on Nightfire Traveler is nowhere near the kind of budget they would have spent on like a, one of their like the top tier games. So there's no way something like Octopath Traveler would consider a triple A by like any definition. guy's not running away yet. <laughs> Run away, you fools. There you go. We've got a bunch of monsters in this one. Skelly has retreated. Yay! 
victory. <clears throat> So many enemies captured. Got some giants and ghouls and... Okay, so they somehow escaped to here. <laughs> so all 12 of their knights are here now. Oh, it looks like they don't have enough, uh... They don't have a lot of monsters, so... They probably won't be attacking anytime soon. <laughs> I'm saying they have, like, only one city, so they're not getting much mana. Zero Neo. Yeah, Horizon Zero Dawn is supposed to be pretty good. I haven't played that one. It's Mirror Odyssey. Yeah, some good ones in those lists. Odyssey Tales of Viseria was definitely the best one right there. And Sonic Mania, yep. Those are two games of the years right there. <laughs> Alright, let's move these guys back over here. Now we don't have to worry about being attacked on this side. Okay, so... We're making progress. Oh, who's here? Oh yeah, you got knocked out. Class upgrades, woo. one of three or ten I don't know it's it's kind of so far it's meh <laughs> it's, it's not overly exciting anyway music is very repetitive it's, it has like a kind of a you know you can see the battles in action kind of thing but you turn that off after the first battle right away because god those things are so slow it's just I don't know I mean, it's a strategy RPG so obviously you know it's kind of like slowly but surely kind of making progress but basically devolves into, you know, sending three groups of guys into a castle and hoping, uh, you know, you don't lose. 
And it's weird, like, you have this castle here that has 12 knights. If we attack it, they're only going to be able to send three of them after us. If we win against those three, we, we took over the castle. Even though they have 12 dudes in there. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> These guys have a lot of monsters. These guys are probably going to be attacking us very shortly. And Zenas is a little bit underwhelmed right now. Guess we got a lot of income coming in. I need to keep my I need to keep my guys alive so I can level them up. <laughs> that's the other problem. That's the main problem right now. They keep dying off. I can't level them up. They're dead. Alright, so we got 42. Um, oh, come on, I'm like three points. <laughs> Game. Yeah, it's, it's kind of weird, but it's probably a limitation to, to their uh, the system. I mean, you can't you can't kill knights. Like, every time you, you wound them or, you know, they retreat, they'll retreat to, like, their nearest castle. In this case here, we, we, we defeat this castle here. There's nowhere for them to, to retreat, because, of course, if they would retreat, they would just, like, gone here. But no, nope, they just warp over here. So since you can't kill off knights, then I guess that's one kind of concession is that you know you only fight three of them at a time because you can never actually kill them off you can't stop them from you know or can't you can't capture them I'm assuming once we actually take over the entire country like once we defeat this one then at that point we'll probably be considered to have defeated the country and then they might join us This music, this overall music, just suddenly stopping and restarting every time is so stupid. Dun, 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 dun. And then just... Get this guy some more monsters. Ten out of two hundred eleven. Just enough. of Asperi Remaster. Yeah, the music in this game is very blech. Everything about this game so far is pretty blech. It's got a very basic story. You know. If somebody takes over the... takes over a kingdom and the bad guy is trying to take over the world so you gotta stop them by taking over the world yourself. You know. Some very blech music. So the, the only reason this game goes for uh, a high price is because of the rarity of it. That's it. That's the only reason. 
Like I'm, I'm, I'm actually thinking. Like I was thinking of doing multiple like characters at this point. Uh, uh, no, <laughs> I might just do the one character and call it there. Like I can't see the story. I mean, if the story was interesting, then sure. The story seems so like pointless. It's just so playing multiple characters wouldn't really give any sort of additional enjoyment to the game. So I'll probably end up just doing one character and call it there. Not attack here. Oh crap. <laughs> um, our uh, allies are getting their asses handed to them here. Which isn't good. <laughs> yeah, they're seriously taking over. Our allies are in big trouble. There's only somebody, one person guarding this. If they take over this one, then we got to send somebody here to protect this uh, castle. <laughs> We're going to be split up even more. Ugh. we got to take over this one before that happens, so... Alright. Playing some good games instead of this one. Can't blame you. And having to choose like this here, like why can't you just say, okay, I want to attack this one, and then who do you want to attack? No, you got to choose each person. Like, okay, choose this person, attack there. Choose this person, attack there. And I guess you can do like a pincer attack, but still, it's, it's just it seems so pointless. Yep, they're taking over that, so now we gotta protect... No, son of a bitch. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, so now we're gonna have to send somebody to protect that one spot. <sighs> Let's send Kai or something like that. Some, somebody who can just handle it by themselves. Wait, they just... They seriously just send, like, three guys without even any monsters? I guess they, they did try to, They did take over that castle north of us, so... <laughs> They're just giving us this one. I mean, do I even have to fight here? I just, like... I'll stand back and do nothing. I'm just gonna r run away. Oh, exactly. Like, Ogre Battle will actually have, like, an interesting, interesting story and, like, uh, a lot, lot of thing, hidden things you can, you can find, you know, like some mini, some sub-quests and kind of stuff like that. This one just is uninspiring in any way. Very nice, Shrek, huh? Very cool. Sure you guys don't want to retreat? You do have a chance to retreat, you realize. I guess we get some uh, free experience here. Get 200 experience for everybody.
Yep. <laughs> They're like, nope, we're not getting, we're not staying here. 200 XP for free, yay! I think it just saved us the trouble and like fled before we even got there. But no. Very nice. Is there something on my face? Kai, you and I don't look alike, huh? Machine playing is like, hey, I'm actually adopted, so there's, there's nothing wrong with liking you as a as something other than a brother. Hmm, I'm never paying attention to that. You don't look alike, do we, Din Dinadin? You two are the Car Carleon Fusions versions of Beauty and the Beast. Actually, it's more like Beauty and the Sloth. I certainly have a good taste in women, didn't Dan? You think so? Hey, I don't have the time for this. Just trying to get you to take a break. I mean, I should go now. I think I'll let's see what Billcock is up to. I'll see you later, Kai. Don't work too hard. The princess is always full of energy. She has, isn't she? Harriet brightens up everyone's day. Wish we had stronger army, so we wouldn't have to send her to battle. Are you worried about her? Yes, I am. We must put an end to this war as soon as possible. I mean, we kind of started the war. These yellow guys weren't attacking us. We just kind of went in there and started trying to murder them all. Thirteen monsters now. Alright, so we need to... We can move Kai over here. Protect our flank here. Some him in there too. At least these guys are kind of cut off from everybody. There's only seven monsters. Two knights. This one's got two knights, seven monsters. Yeah, they're definitely spreading themselves thin, which is good. Get another 40 uh, power worth of monsters here. Not enough for a dragon. <laughs> okay. You know what? Let's switch this guy out for a dragon. Oops. This guy's slow as hell. Alright, save. Try to finish off the uh, the orange guys. <laughs> I was about to finish them off, but they decided to take over another castle, which is a good thing because it made uh, made grabbing the castle we were going for like super easy. Man, <laughs> the red dudes are just, they're hurting. I 
we definitely have to help out our allies. <clears throat> Kind of dangerous attacking this group too. So I'll leave this one down to one. Let's try it. Maybe we'll get lucky and the purple guys aren't going to attack us. Wait, they're attacking us? <laughs> I went to attack them and they're coming after us. Well then. Yeah, except worse. <laughs> if Dragon Force was was like a, a crappy tactics game, then we'd have this one. It's just, it's just like, ugh. It's repeating the same thing over and over and over. There's like a little tidbits of story here and there. Like if, if the story and the gameplay was like more interesting, I, I'm thinking I, I probably would have gone for the... Try to... To do all, all, all the uh, characters' stories. At this point, I don't think I care enough. <laughs> It's just, it's just so... Yuck. Not really. I never, I never claimed to do 100% completion on any games. I figured, hey, you know, this one... You know, if it was a decent game, then sure, I'll, I'll go for all characters, but... I don't know. Right now, yeah, there's nothing that's making me want to play more of this game. Once I do one character, I think I'll be it for me. This one. Hey, Dry Strike Ball. boss.
it's just it's just very simplistic and honestly you're quite boring. So you just like move your character here, press a button. If you die, you know, just make trying to get them to run away and rinse and repeat a million times. <laughs> it's just not interesting. Cast on me. One damage, what the hell was that? Whatever he cast on me really weakened me. Master of Monsters. Nope, can't say I have. Similar to this, I'm guessing? hit us with uh, made it made it so we're like doing no damage. Ugh. God damn it. It's gonna hurt too much here. We're gonna have to run away. So we're giving them back their castle. <laughs> here I was trying to attack them and <laughs> they just came and kicked our ass. First part is you can't like move and cast at the same time. That, that's one thing that's annoying. Got these cool abilities, but you have to be standing in place to use them. Yeah. Yeah, the animations, I'll show you, like, the animations are way too slow. Like, you can see how fast combat is happening now, but let's turn this on, you'll see how... I haven't tried it with the actual... these abilities here, but... Battle animation is really slow right now. Am I going to explain to my lord? Cool characters in that, but I mean, if these things were, you know, three times as, as fast, it wouldn't be so bad. Just waiting for that animation, and it's just, it's just not playable. Right off of them. 
Well, we we'll definitely have to run away here. <laughs> Can't turn off the animations until it's our turn. animations. animations. Yeah. How did we miss that pixie? Could have eaten that in like one hit. I'm obviously gonna have to run away here, but let's save first. I wanna try something. First part is, like, th this attack here hits your own guys, which is stupid. Especially since you can't even move your your character before you use it. If you could run into the enemy forces and then use it, it wouldn't be so bad. No, it's like, <laughs> hit your guys and you can't move your dude to use it. Nice. I was hoping to get level 10 on my rock. So I'll try to get some more XP while we're at it. faster combat is <laughs> without the animations. It's, it's like night and day. Yeah, 
just silence me? Try to silence me. Dragon, please. Time to go RPG and uh, World Ring. It's a very dull tactical RPG at that. Alright, at least we retreated successfully. dudes are after us. Alright. I guess we're down to just having this one to go after again. We got 11 monsters now. It's gonna suck. We're down to two people here. Oh yeah, that's right. We were, we were gonna send like one person from here and then two people from here, but the game's like, nah. We're gonna attack you first. Rock can turn to a phoenix. Yeah, this, th this one definitely doesn't have much of a lore dump. It's literally just a couple of little sprigs of, uh, of like, story. I mean, the story is, it just takes a backseat to just the standard plot of taking over the world. That's, that's, that's pretty much the whole point of this. That's the point of this game? Taking over the world, that's it. <laughs> Nothing else you need to know other than the fact you have to take over the world. another I'm basically 45 see if there's any monsters you can summon that has like a cost of 45 so right now we got a lot of mana we got 3600 mana Cost in these. It's not upkeep. Oh, rune cost, there it is. Rune cost. Sixty. Thirty-five. 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 Thirty. Yeah, it's got a centaur.
All right, so we need to send somebody else here. Um, we need to send somebody to Xanas as well, because Xanas is going to be attacked. And we just don't have enough people. That's the problem. Have these guys to worry about too. It's just like we're, we're going to be a, we're attacked from like every corner. Yeah, the, the art style is definitely Ogre Battle, but the game is anything but. I don't want to attack Salisbury. I mean, there's only two guys here, but if I attack these guys, I'll be attacked from like, three other positions, which is very bad. It might be safe to move one guy over, though. Let's move Sierra over. We can move Sierra somewhere where there's, like, rivers. <laughs> Something down here left, right? Yeah. Three knights here, which means they're probably going to attack now. This guy's got six knights here. He's got twelve here, but <laughs> knew that. It's like any way you look at it, we're <laughs> they're going to be they're going to be coming for us. The upside of this one here is that they can't reinforce it because these guys are blocking off the uh, path. So if anything, these guys will probably attack to take back this thing, which would be good. That way I can move my guy away from here. Because ha having this one place behind me here, this is not fun. In fact, I should just attack it anyways. I should just... Like, uh... Kai could probably take over this guy by himself. He's got six monsters versus seven. And two guys. I'm not gonna do that. Unless these guys are gonna come to attack it, which is likely, but. I'll help them out. <laughs> uh, I can't move until these guys are in place. I can't attack, I should say. Jin's almost level 10 too, which is nice. What can you turn it to at level, at level 10? Let's see here. So Jin's turn into... Oh, well, he, he's got four choices at level 10. You can turn to a Genie, an Efridi, a Maria, or a Dao. Each one have different... Uh, Powers like Genie's is, is white, Dao is black, uh, Ifridi is red, and Maria is blue. It's like it's basically like choose your element at that point. Since like since uh, the 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 main enemy is going to be kind of more like evil based, I might as well go with the uh, the white the Genie. That's right, Ogre Battle 64.
<laughs> Wyvern's almost level uh, eight or level ten as well. <laughs> These ones are actually surviving because they're actually, you know, they're actually with a good team. What's the Wyvern turn into? Stupid map unfolded. Alright. Wyvern turns into. Where is it? Into a. Coaddle. And then eventually into Bahamut. Coaddle. <laughs> Coaddle. Rock Horse turns into Phoenix. Giant turns into. Gigas. Gigas or Titan, we get a choice. Gas is like the the black uh, element, while Titan is the white element. And Titan turns into Thor. Gigas turns into Loki. <laughs> Hellhound will turn into a Fenril. That's as far as he goes up the chain. game doesn't really make sense when it comes to monster evolution. <laughs> the pixie is level 8. <laughs> what the hell? I'm gonna try to kill those monsters just in case, like, when he does run away at least he won't keep his monsters. Eclectic collection of different monsters. Remember of the Body of the Lions? I thought that was the Mandicore. Am I There's too many damn weird monsters. Griffins, Mandicores, Chimeras, and all that. Stay away from my rock so I can actually use my special ability here. <laughs> yeah. That'd be fun.
Airstorm, go. Level time, nice. I can upgrade. that before he moved in. Whatever. that dragon. <laughs> yeah. Oh, almost died. I mean, it's probably still dead, but... Okay, that's that's embarrassing. My hellhound died to a pixie. That's super embarrassing. One hit point. One frickin' hit point. Uh, I hate games like this. Of course, at one hit point, they'll still do, like, maximum damage to you. He's still level 3, so not too bad if I lose him. This guy's gonna retreat. Or not. Damn it. <laughs> 181 damage. Of course, it does just enough.
No, wait, haven't fought enough. Get some sweet XP there for the, for the Wyvern. Better not die. Good. Missed me. Force retreat. <laughs> Hooray! Lost a couple people, but nobody important anyways. I got two guys up to level past level 10, so I can get two new classes. <sighs> Alright. This is a Hydra here. Jeez, that thing's huge. Never saw that one in battle, actually. Doesn't have as many heads as he does in the uh, in the icon. Alright, get a Jin. Two of the kind of actions he has. He has Race Storm. It's Breath Attack. He's got three hexes instead of two, which is nice. It's 50 MP though. Greedy, Fire Storm. So all these are just elemental versions. Diff same thing, but just different elemental versions. Rotten Storm. I'm thinking a Genie is probably the best bet. Just because of the. Uh, we're typically fighting evil things, so... Wow, it looks so different. <laughs> Here's a new color. Wyvern turned into a quaddle. Attack increase, defense increase. Movement's the same, agility's the same, intelligence the same, strength the same, same amount of HP, MP's the same, and cost goes up by 20. Dragon Roar. At least one sixth of HP within range. That's it, one, one sixth. <laughs> or one enemy. That's kind of meh. I know it has an area of effect, but. It says hex one, so wouldn't that technically be. I don't know. Whatever. Time for a color change. Oh, it's purple. Yeah, but enemies rarely have that much hit points. I mean, look, look at our dudes. Oops. So our dudes have like 500, you know, so I guess some of them have like around 600, but 100 damage is nothing, right? I mean, a physical attack would probably do like 150. But if you had six of these, <laughs> yeah, actually, if you had six of these, but is it one six of their maximum or just one six of their current? Because if it's one six of their current, no matter how many of these, you get up like a million of these and you would never kill an enemy. Yeah, well, it probably hits everything around you, including your own guys. That's the main problem I had so I have so far with all these special abilities. Like the uh, rock special ability is pretty pretty good, except you can't move and use it. So you have to you have to use it before moving. So you have to be you have to put your rock out in the middle of nowhere, hope that enemies surround it, and then use the ability at, uh, during your next turn. You can't be near your your own guys because you're going to hit your own guys with it. So it's really hard to really hard to uh, to to use these things. All right, so we can move him away now. All right, let's put him over. <clears throat> Let's 
He won't take over this thing, so let's bring him over here. This place has two guys right now. Well, since we're bringing them over here, let's bring one of these guys over here. Bring Bill Cock over. I'm being Hervey. It does, yeah. The, well, I don't know about the the Dragon War, but the Rock uh, one definitely does. The Dragon War, I'm, I'm betting the Dragon War works the same thing, too. Same thing with Breath Attacks. Breath Attacks hit your own guys, the Rock's Attacks hit your own guys. The only thing it doesn't, I've noticed, is spells. So if you're casting like an AoE spell, it'll hit just the enemies. But for any sort of abilities, like monster abilities, they hit everybody. Which is kind of annoying. <laughs> Makes it really hard to use when they're using it, especially an AoE attack. I could depend on the difficulty too, like I'm playing on normal, maybe on easy it doesn't. Like, I'm assuming the easy just the enemies do less damage. <laughs> yeah, and poor Red, who took over. Oh, they, they lost another territory? At least, at least he gives us a little bit of a border uh, protection there, because I can't handle like another <laughs> another castle. Like I have to, I have to defeat the yellow just to get them out of the way, and like, I have to kind of to try to push. Like it's, it's, this is hard. <laughs> we don't have enough guys. That's the, that's the main problem. I'm hoping once once I finally like destroy these guys, I'll, I'll take over their. Uh, their knights. If I take over the knights, then we'll have like enough guys to you know do something. Because right now we have nine guys, I think, in total. Have, yeah, we have like nine guys in total. These guys have twelve. Like, how come they have twelve and we have nine? Especially since we have such a bigger, t such a a large territory compared to theirs. No, I, I haven't gone to many quests, mainly because, you know, your your character leaves the group when you, uh, when you go on a quest. So right now, where I'm just trying to... Like, I know ex I'm probably expanding too fast, to be honest, but <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping once I take over this territory, then I'll, I'll actually be able to, you know... I can warrant, you know, the, the, ch the, the expansion, and then I could probably do some quests, but... Right now, I'm being attacked on too many fronts to, to send anybody out to, to battle. Too dangerous. Like I've, I've gone on two quests. One of them was just nothing. Another one, we got like a HP increase. <laughs> That's it. Alright, so let's not do anything this turn. Wait till everybody moves. <clears throat> Every time you try taking over the yellow, they just they keep pushing. All right, so got, they got their group over here, so there's no more. Yeah, all their monsters are gone here, which could be a good thing actually, because if we defeat them here, no. Either way, let's just push from here.
Blizzard. Eh, it's very boring. Like I'm honestly not. I'm, I'm honestly thinking of not even doing more than one character because just just the first story is just it's like blah. It's not interesting at all. These guys made it back to the uh, to the castle, <laughs> which is actually a good thing because that means we're gonna defeat some of their monsters here. Now, if the story was more interesting, I, I, I can warrant playing more than one character. But at this point, I, I don't you know. It might change by the time I actually get to the uh, by the time I beat the first uh, campaign. But I don't know. I'm not finding any interest in me to actually beat more than one character at this point. Probably, but... Oh man, this guy's slow. It was like the, uh... the lowest difficulty in the manual, so I figured, hey, I'll try this one first. And see, you know... Try, try to learn the game more. But it's just so boring. And really, it's like story, like, like the story's pretty boring to begin with. Like, it's your standard kind of like, okay, you gotta take over the world kind of story. Even if I play the other characters, the, the battles are still gonna be the same, so... The story's not gonna change anything too much. The, story, the story's not gonna necessarily make the battles more interesting to play. So, any way I look at it, it's just gonna be meh. Best case scenario is gonna be meh. This is special heal voice. Hmm. That's interesting. Now, see, that's actually a useful, a useful ability when we're in the middle of uh, your characters. So, yeah, exactly. I mean, that, the the boring battles definitely. I mean, that's that's the core of the game is the battles. So if you're just you're just bored playing these battles over and over. A little bit of extra story in between the battles isn't going to make it more interesting to, to, to go through the battles. So I think one playthrough is going to be enough for this. <laughs> He's not even fast enough to keep up to... Uh, These guys are attacking us. Interesting. Oh, right now, I, I can't even. Like, I, I need more knights. <laughs> Can't even afford sending anybody on quests. I honestly expanded too early. Like in hindsight. <laughs> Should have like waited a bit and done some more questing or something. But it's like, hey, let's let's start some battles. So the game doesn't even give you any sort of tutorial either. They just they just dump you in, like, alright, figure it figure things out. It's like, okay. Let's just start going somewhere and start battling things. The game doesn't even give you any sort of tutorial mission or anything, which is very rare for tactical RPG. Welcome back, Hawkman. <laughs> nope, luckily they haven't figured that out yet. Let's 
so suicidal bringing them over here, but... If I can use my ability up here, it's going to be insanely good. Yeah, the battle animations. We, we did the battle animations for one uh, for, for one battle, and that was it. <laughs> battle animations are so freaking slow. It's just not worth it's not worth keeping it on. It's so long to watch all those. <laughs> it's just like, nope, <laughs> we're getting out of here. I mean, they, they last, like, 10 seconds longer than they should. I mean, it's cool seeing the character, like, the, the enemies, right, or the, the three new models and that, but then, yeah. You see them once and that, that's all you need to do. After that, it's just, it's just, ugh. It's just way too long. Try to at least kill some monsters here so they uh, don't bring them with them. Stress is gonna run away here. Just have like a number over everybody's head at the same time instead of having to individually go through each person. It's like, you didn't heal this one, you didn't heal this one, you didn't heal this one, you didn't heal this one. Damn it. If I go here, we're gonna overextend. I guess. around him, I think. It's gonna hit, like, two of our guys. <laughs> Still worth it, though, I think. Especially if it paralyzes any of the enemies. It didn't. Oh, got lose one of them. Be awesome if it paralyzed. Oh, nice! It paralyzed him. Sweet. Dead. 
Good job, Rock. You tried. I'm out of range of the, uh, the bonus, but weakness should definitely help me a bit here. Yeah. That blue range protection makes a big difference, I think. Be a range of everything. Boom. Nice. Another gin leveled up. This is awesome. <laughs> um, if I go up here, I can hit these two without hitting the rock. It's going to be out of range, though. Bonus, but... I think that increases... I think that increases your defense and doesn't increase your offense. Could be wrong though. <laughs> Why did I bring this guy? Paralyze last. Is it like forever? This hasn't gone off yet. It's fine with me, but it's, it's really weird.
come on. Missed. It's almost there, but retreat time. Damn it. At least we killed all those monsters. It's going to make a big difference there. Couldn't make it. They tried. Oh. Well, <laughs> they somehow survived. Hey, Chris. These guys are hurting. They're down to three monsters. Alright, this is the perfect time to kill them now. <laughs> they only have these three guys left. So we got this now. Alright, so what do you want to turn this into? You already have a gin. Let's see. I think they they have a lot of fire-based enemies, more fire-based than water-based. So let's try a Merid. Oh, I guess that's gonna put her over the rune uh, limit. Demon. Let's do that. They do have some holy units, so she's not wearing much, is she? More like a succubus. Venom and Curse. Generates poison around enemies. Images enemies by hex. It's expensive though. All right. So yeah, let's uh, take over this this thing and not look back. These guys are kind of suffering, but you can't just like give them like, hey, take this take this thing over. <laughs> we got enough mana at this point. I got more mana than I can do any, anything with. I, I can't summon any more monsters. I don't have any anywhere to put them. That's the biggest problem right now. Is just I don't have I don't have knights. <laughs> I need knights. Mana is not a problem. So you can't just summon knights. It's like here, I'll give you like a thousand mana for a knight. I'll probably look up the manual. Probably. Specifies exactly how to get more knights, but 
my guess is once you once you take over a country, I mean, where are those knights gonna go, right? Either they'll just disappear or they join your forces. So it's kind of a good thing that they repelled uh, this guy, because otherwise he would have taken over the uh, the knights. Since these guys attacked them, my attack that like didn't even happen. That's kind of bullshit. They somehow repelled them, which is surprising. But what, and why did my attack not get repelled? Or why did uh, my attack not even, ha not even happen? It's not fair. Back again. What the hell, man? Like, <laughs> this isn't fair. Like, <laughs> Every time we try to attack, somebody else is attacking them first. No, I've been informed. You don't seem too concerned. When oh, the fate of Carleon is in your hands, please save this country. Son of a bitch. That's like two times in a row that the game's just like, no. Did I save after that last fight? I don't know. Period plot point. I don't remember. I, I, I purged Xenogears from my brain after after Xenogears ended, after the end of this two. The theory character. I don't know. I mean, the theory character was was obviously like was obviously em Emerelda because you know she's like. Bio nano waifu material, whatever, especially when she grows up. <laughs> least favorite plot point, all of them. <laughs> the least favorite plot point is disc two. So, how the hell did. Like how, how how does combat work in this? Like if two people are attacking the same place, like is it is it like RNG who who's determined to be the first person to attack it? I mean, that's kind of unfair. I want to attack this. No, I want to attack it. Oh, okay, you you can attack it, and I'll just stand by and watch. Again, like, like Leonia attacks and were repelled. Okay, fine. <laughs> now let's attack. And then now it's like these guys are gonna attack and, and win. And... Uh, unless the game just doesn't want you to to take over the country, so they're just gonna force you not to. I don't know. It's, it's weird. Hey, Reg, thanks for the host. Who are you playing tonight there, Reg? Just try this again. See, again, they're 
Neonia is, is attacking again. It's like it's like overtaking us. It's keeping us from attacking. Like it's just bullshit, man. No matter what we do, like Leonia goes in first and prevents us from attacking. It's, it's so stupid. Backgammon, awesome. Did you win? <laughs> again, they're attacking again and again and again. They're not letting me get a word in edgewise here. Let me try attacking from this side. It's like no matter what they, no matter what happens, they force us a, away from like attacking this place. They just, they just don't want to want us to attack. Just send that group in. That's it. See, now it's the empire. It's like no matter what we do, it's can't attack them. Well, I can attack other areas, but I want to get this one here. I want to see what happens if we defeat, like, the last empire. The problem is they're in a spot that, that they could be attacked from, like, every angle. I'm almost tempted just to move my guys out of here so that they, they can, like, come in and steal this place. And then I can come in from the backside or something, because at this point, it's like everybody's fighting for that spot, and the game's not letting us attack. I don't know how how the game determines who gets to attack first. Obviously, we're like way down on the bottom of the list because it's not letting us do anything here. See, like it's the empire again. Like no matter what, it's like you just you can't. Hmm. It's I don't know. Like, I'd almost have to go around and like try to try to kill the surrounding areas so they don't attack and then attack myself. All right, so they're joining us. So in a way, it's it's almost the same thing. Like they're going to join us, but I want I want to defeat them with my own hands. I'm going to have to. Just <laughs> problem is, I mean, I don't want to spread myself too thin. So if I attack from the other sides, then. Because th this one's more strategic, right? If I grab this one, at least I'd have, like, a unified front. But I'm thinking the game just won't let us. The, the, the game probably refuses us to actually defeat another empire. So it's just trying to get the empire... Every time we try to attack it, it gets attacked by another uh, another enemy so that, you know, the other enemy can defeat the empire and then, like, they join us because they've been routed by the enemy kind of thing. I'm betting that's what's probably happening. So yeah, that's what I'm thinking. It's probably it's probably yeah scripted pretty much. Because it's so weird. Like every time we try to attack it, it's attacked by somebody else every single time. I think it happened here too. Because I know here we tried to attack and then but they attacked us first, so we didn't even let us attack them. Like, they, they preemptively attacked us. So there's not one time I was able to successfully attack the, uh, the enemy encampment. But, I mean, no matter no matter what, if I, if I capture this one, for example, and this one, then this one is still, you know, going to attack it. So, <laughs> so any way you look at it. No, no quests. Until until I get like a like a, a pretty secure front, I'm not gonna worry about doing quests. Like right now, at least we have this buffer here from this side. Like right now, I've got I got three kind of points in contention. Right, I can get this one, this one. And still be three points. I need to like grab this. 
No. If I grab this, then it's not going to help from this side. Yeah, I'd have to, like, grab this one here. So if I grab this one... Then I have to... Uh, it's like... I'm just trying to find a way that... I can get a better view from here. Not really. Let me zoom in and out. World map? No. If I end up grabbing this one, then we'd, we'd have like this one here and this one here that can attack us. So we'll grab these two points here, like this one and this one. And we'd have like really one, two, and then three. So no matter what, we're like always looking at three points of contention. Definitely looks like we can't attack this one, so we'll, we'll let the enemy attack it. Um, this one's 3 and 11. Time is at 9.50. Probably got like one more attack in me before I have to head out for uh, the night. <clears throat> Let's just try attacking these guys from this side. Get some experience on these guys. to attack them and them at the same time and see what happens. Let's try it for the hell of it. Oops. I wonder if we attack, like, we send everybody into this one. We send this group and the other group. Both of them be repelled. <laughs> I got work tomorrow, what can I say? Execute. Super slow Hydra and uh, Angel. Send Bill Cock in. That's what Battles looks for. No, at least Ogre Battle is actually decent. This game is just super boring. Got a ninja. my angels turn to Lucifer. That'd be awesome. Sprite, Sprite just wants to be cool. Not cool at all. This pretends to be. <laughs> yeah. Whatever little bit of story that they've given us so far is like extremely boring and just irrelevant. 
story basically boils down to, you know, you got a big baddie who's trying to take over the world, and we're trying to stop him by taking over the world ourselves. That's the story. A very atypical kind of tactical RPG story, but worse. <laughs> Boiled down to the absolute basics. Extended by a little bit there. guys not moving for us. Gives us more time to move towards them, I guess, but... More than close enough to... get them to move towards us. Crap. Goodness. <laughs> At least he's doing something. I mean, the, his guys are going to move towards us. Yeah, there we go. Of course, we're not going to be able to do any damage now because of weakness. I love how we've got experience, too. versus holy. So weakened. Oh, 
Good when they miss. <laughs> Sucks when we miss, but it's great when they do. leveled up a dragon yet. Like, the next tier. You do at least that. <laughs> yeah, let's get another power increase. He's able to move, attack, and then move again. Not fair. Shast is uh, getting his ass handed to him here. Unicorn. Oh man, Shast is so dead here. Shast's gonna have to retreat, but probably I do want to make as much damage as I can. Weekend, doesn't he? No, this weekend finally came off, I guess. Dragoon. Three hundred fourteen. Ouch. Yeah, I think they're kicking their ass a little too much. Well, 
increase his power. <laughs> oh, that dragon's dead. Oh wow, 1 HP. <laughs> it's still probably gonna die very shortly, but... Thought I had a chance here, but... Abilities? No. Jeez, one HP. As many monsters as we can. Hope they can't resummon any. Get some experience while we're at it. Oh, well, he's dead. <laughs> oh, dead. He's wounded. That wasn't fit for his physical labor. Oi! At least we got a little bit of XP. That was a nasty fight. I got some monsters in stock, at least. I hope that helps, because... I guess everybody successfully ran away with the monsters, except for, uh, what's his name here? They got wounded. He's out of commission. Until the next turn. Both of his dragons ran away with them, too, which is nice. Trying to uh, let's try coming from this side here. If we can somehow just 
taunt these guys away. Let's try to flank them. Fixing my group. We're almost in position. Ball talk. Okay, now we're pretty much... Since we're flanking them, we shouldn't get any of the other guys attacking us. Hopefully.
God, this merman is so useless. There's not enough water anywhere either to use anybody other than uh, the merman. Just they'll never be useful. There's maybe like one map in the entire game that probably has like a decent amount of water to use them in. Pretty much right. It's just gonna be Hydras and Mermen everywhere. Or whatever the upgraded version of Mermen are. Tritons or whatever. Oh man. Taunted those guys too. Hoping we don't even get like group three, but. It's like number one's coming for us too. Look at the Hydra's super slow. miss, man. I hate that. Never do a physical attack on these guys successfully. coming for us now. The range on those griffins is a pain in the ass too. I think we chose the right one to use protect. Oh jeez. Forgot they had that. Oh. <laughs> after all that. It's like, you kidding me?
Now the one spot I just moved is the one spot my guy would have actually been useful in. Eh, <sighs> poor guy. Crazy money. It makes it so they can't hit us or something. Oh, come on, one hit point. Damn game. Literally one hit point. Eh, stupid. Ugh, okay, we're gonna have to hit our own guy in order to kill this thing. Otherwise, he's gonna be able to run away for free. God damn it. Jeez, almost killed our own guy here. Probably still gonna die. stupid grip. <laughs> That's the worst thing when you get an enemy down to one hit point. Does this still do full damage? Which game was it? Was it, was it? it was Cardia, right? Cardia is the one, the only game I've played so far that the, the damage was relative to your actual hit points. So if you're like down to one hit point, you're doing zero damage. That was nice. <laughs> Realistic. Kind of find for the heal. See in Canada, in, C in CFL, our players just drink beer. That's 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 what happens. 
they had to outlaw that recently. Because some dude kind of had a beer like after a touchdown. <laughs> he, went, he went to the stands. I guess his girlfriend had a beer or something like that. So he went got the beer and drank it after the touchdown. In the middle of a game. Not like after the game here. This is the middle of the game. It's all over the news. It's very, it's a very Canadian thing to do. But of course, then they, had, you know, they had to outlaw that, so no, other people wouldn't, wouldn't try to uh, do the same thing, right? Yeah, it's not surprising, I guess. CFL doesn't get the kind of uh, sponsorships and everything that the NFL gets. See, like, we're, we're not trying to attack these guys. They have zero monsters. They're, they're, they're so poor, they can't even afford monsters. As soon as we try to attack these guys, they're going to be attacked from somebody else. Like, it's the only way they're going to get attacked is if we left them, if you will. Alright, so this one we can kind of leave alone now, because we need to move somebody over here. Let me summon here. Some wyverns. I got nine. I got like maxed out mana right now. <laughs> got so much mana, I don't know. I don't even know what to do with it. What <laughs> calls the performance enhancing drug? Yeah, imagine a kicker trying to hit, kick a ball after after drinking. That would be interesting. It would be fun to watch though. I hate when we're like two, like three points away from being able to use a certain monster. Eh. out of the uh, in-house here. Who am I summoning in dragon? I just realized that guy's got two dragons with him. It's as much as he can carry. This area. We're making progress slowly but surely. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Defensive line for sure. <laughs> Anybody that has to have some sort of accuracy, kicker or like a quarterback or something like that, would definitely not be good. these guys to uh, get attacked.
Hey, wait, we're actually fighting them now? What the hell? They're actually letting us do this now. Just that, that one... Like, every other time we try it, they're just like, no. We're just gonna... Maybe just taking over that one town just kind of didn't give enough force, didn't give them enough forces to even attempt to uh, to try to, to attack the side. I don't know. The game's just weird sometimes. At least now they've got nowhere to go. So let's see what happens. They're probably just going to uh, retreat as soon as we, we get close to them. They've got no chance against us here. Just got a scorpion and a centaur, that's it. <laughs> Feel bad for them. Useful ability right there. Still have a chance. It's gonna turn around any second now. Any bit now. Any day now. Any year now. <laughs> it's over. Spurs are actually going for us here. They're retreating. I guess at this point they don't have anything to lose. Although I did kind of uh, overextend Kai a little bit here. Ow.
I'm just gonna try nuking the enemies here. I've gotta save first, because if Kai dies, then we just failed the, uh, the attack, which sucks. He's in the perfect position to nuke everything. going to be the best attack here. Geno Frost. I think they can get enough. Not running away, she's just healing herself. They're not very talkative, are they? is nice. <laughs> Sometimes. It's kind of annoying that you have to keep seeing these stupid zeros, like, oh, you healed him for zero, oh, you healed him for zero, oh, you healed him for zero. Just don't tell me. <laughs> Just ignore the ones that weren't healed.
Bam! None of these guys say anything. Scalio has been annihilated. Wahaha. <laughs> Go level 10 so you can turn into a vampire. Yay! Your Majesty, our last castle is. Oh no! I'll make a fuss. It's too late anyway. I don't care if they take Escalio anymore. What? I feel bad for ancestors. Ulster, when are you going to understand? Who is the king of this country? You must listen to me and not the dead. Oh dear. Is this the end of Escalio? I think I'm going to cry. Don't cry, you idiot. I can conquer the world anytime. I'm just a little tired of all the fighting. I'm going on a journey until I'm ready. Really? What, you don't believe me? Of course I believe you. If you don't mind, I would like to go with you on your journey. Do as you please. What about you guys? What are you going to do? I'm allergic to all the other lords. I have no choice but to stay with you. You are the one who saved me. All I want in my life is to be with you. Very well. Let's all go together. Find new land to conquer somewhere. Sacred King Calendar. Month 7. Year 216. Escalio has vanished from the continent. <laughs> <laughs> Scott has been defeated, and I have no place to go. How would you like to hire me? I'd be of some use to you. However, that depends on how much you pay me. Yay, you got... Victoria, my name is Victoria. I used to work for the King Drist of Escalio. It was a very strong country, but even a strong country like that has to surrender to you. I'm attracted to strong people. I have my support from now on. Victoria asks... That's it? We only got two people? We defeated the entire empire, we got two people. <laughs> Whatever. I'll take it. Alright. So it's almost 11, so... I think that's going to be enough for tonight. <laughs> we made some pretty damn good progress. We defeated an empire. Wiped out the uh, yellow from the map. Now I guess we're going to... I mean, the main goal is to take over the purple. But, you know. Won't we just be happy with just the purple? We got two new people. So now we can actually send some people on quests. <laughs> we only need, really need three protecting our, our main front line, so... So we can send some of our weaker guys and maybe on quests. Daphne and Victoria here. What, what level are they? Level 11 and level 12. It's better than some of our current guys, so... We got 180... Yeah, they don't have very much rune power, though. Got stuff like uh, Marriott. So, eh... Maybe I'll send these guys on quests the hell of it. But I'll do that some I'll do that tomorrow. So let's save there. And yeah. Definitely gonna be calling there for tonight, so tomorrow I should be back on uh tr -tr -tr -tr. trying to think of what time I should be done tomorrow. I don't think it's gonna take that long, so I'll probably be yeah, I'll probably be on at the latest, you know, four or five o'clock at Eastern. And we shall play some more of this game. I'm definitely thinking I'm not going to go for more than one uh, one playthrough. At this point, I mean, it, the story is like non-existent, and even if the story changes slightly, the, the, the gameplay isn't going to change, so it's just boring. But we'll find that out tomorrow. So let's stop the timer there, and yeah. So have a great night, guys. Uh, I'll be on uh, tomorrow, and we'll keep playing this. In the meantime, thanks for watching. Thanks, everybody, for stopping on by, and... Uh, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow for the continuation. Take care, guys. Till next time.